Hello and welcome to session number seven of Outlander's Guide to Lidaria. Let's go! Let's jump straight into it! Hello! 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 What? Hello! Was that a question? Hello? Hello? Hello! <laughs> hey! We're back! We sure are! And you know what time it is? Uh, 2.12. It's recap time. But oh, I will also yeah. accept that answer, yes. <laughs> Depending on your time zone and whether you're watching this live or later. <laughs> okay. All right, well, first of all, we're going to uh, hear about... Uh, um, the previous session from uh, from Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Just as a heads up, I've heard all of you complain a lot about the stress of your sessions, and I heard you. So this is recap of Ladaria's uh, of the Outlander's Guide to Ladaria Scuffed Edition. <laughs> all right. Is everyone ready? Uh huh. I believe I have to pause the music for this one. Yes. Yeah. All right. But we will do that. We will come to that point later. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Last time on the Outlander's Guide to Ladaria, Tekka was once again on his lookout for dreamers. He found two. Well, more one. Boven was just interested in him being a tiefling, but his no but this gnome guy with gr with blue hair heard of an oak tree near the elven colony. Simli Lun, under which you have the most wonderful dreams in your life. Oh, the music went back on. <clears throat> well, for now. Brooke. <laughs> Brooke invites everyone to a dinner party, stops underage drinking, and learns a lot about Paddock's <laughs> backstory. Mainly about his father, who is his idol and a researcher. Oh, and a genius, even though he wasn't raised by him. Also, Pip has, definitely, <laughs> has a definitely friendly grandma who wants him to bring stuff to her. Yep, nothing suspicious here. Brooke also, in the next morning, sends a description of Pip's parents with Talix drawing via the innkeep to his phantom friend. He also has a panther head tattoo on his tongue. <sighs> Talix really wanted to spend time with Boov in this session. They actually had their little studying date too. He also almost got us a job with Ezen, but then there was no job. Then he almost got us a job with the priest Egon. We lost his face, and you won't believe what Egon wanted us to do. Grave robbery. So we did a quick vote on the quest. Talix? No. Tekka? No. Pip? Brook? No. <laughs> and, now... <laughs> and now the grand finale begins. Everyone grab your snacks, get a refill, because before I get to the climax of the session, we need to honor our little sponsor for tonight. Um, for that, I would like all of you to come over to oh, oh, God. <laughs> what? Uh? Come over to God? <laughs> yeah, come over to God. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> because, okay. I would like to, because I would like to introduce all of you to our nice little sponsor, Copper Trail Detectives. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. What? <laughs> all right. Tell me when everyone is ready. <laughs> ready. Okay. ready. I'm ready. And tell me if you can't hear music, okay? Very important, because if you can't hear music, you can't hear me. And then it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, right now I can't hear music. <laughs> All right. Mm, let's go. Oh, well, hello. Can't hear it. It's very it's low. Quiet. You can't oh. hear it. Oh my god. Do I need to turn up Discord? Uh, you can probably turn it up in the player, like in the Discord thingy. I have it on it max. Be... Can you also not hear it? Let's try again. Let's yeah, try playing it. Let's see. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, well, hello. I didn't see you there. You hear from your advertising. Is it better? Me too. Yeah. Don't worry hello. about it. I am Anna's. All right, before is it actually better? Yeah, it's still very quiet. It's very low. Your voice right, is much right. louder than that. 
Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, as long nobody as nobody talks while it happens. Yeah, because we're gonna have to turn the volume. Otherwise, up I can just send you the link and then we watch it together on three. <laughs> if that is better, what? would that be better? Winter, what would be better? Uh yeah, I don't know. I, I I know I have it set up to capture Discord right now. All, All right. right. So, yeah, everyone just be quiet while this is going on. <clears throat> then I'll mute myself and you'll just try to hear it as good as possible. All right. Oh, well, hello. I didn't see you there. You're here for the advertisement. Me too. Don't worry about it. I am Ennis, 50% of the famous detective of the famous detective company Coppertail Path resumes you might ask? Well, I and only myself just a few months ago solved the mysteries of Eberron just by myself. <laughs> Impressive, right? But I know this isn't Eberron. So what can I do for you here on Lidaria? <laughs> Don't worry, I get this question quite a lot. But while helping my good friend, Dennis, do a summary for last <laughs> session, I stumbled upon a lot of loose ends in this world. They led me to believe that there are many conspiracy theories in Winter's campaign. I have even written books, many books about it already. <laughs> my most recent one, why, in the Outlander's Guide to Lidaria, who actually play Minecraft and not Dungeons and Dragons, has received <laughs> many reviews over the past weeks. You're not sold yet? You think I'm making all these conspiracy theories up? Come on, would you still say that if I told you that Jamiel, in the form of his book, is actually based on a crafted map in Minecraft? You know, the more you explore in the world of Minecraft, the more the map, or in this case, the book, fills up and saves information. If you build something in Minecraft that is visible on the landscape, the map changes, just <laughs> like Jamuel's notes, when something important happens. That was still not enough? Well, let me give you one last hint. My researchers have proven that Cleon is actually based on a Minecraft village. Take Boven for it, for example, <laughs> right? Ever wonder where his trademark voice line who comes from? <laughs> well, if you listen closely, all right, you can hear that Boven's who is the same as Minecraft villagers' voice line. Huh? Just pitched higher. All right, all right. I know I sold you with this one, but don't worry. You don't have to pay me for this information. Just use all your healing and buffing spells on a character named Brook Hayatep. Hmm? <laughs> and I'll tell you more next time. Doodles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. A weird spawn there. We really yeah. need to figure out who we're getting winter for the next time. We Hi. finally know how to pronounce Brook's last name. <laughs> Hi, ya, tap. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, who is everyone ready for the climax or the finale of the last session? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to our all star Pip. Our little man has quite some powers and definitely special ways to use it. You saw Brooke slicing his arms was creepy. Wait till you're on about Voodoo Master Pip. <laughs> yep, you heard it right. Voodoo Master. In order to learn more about Egon and his lost face, all he asked Egon for was a drop of sweat, a clump of hair, a worn down sock, a clip of and a clip of his nail. Seems normal, right? Once receiving that, he takes out his doll, puts all the crest items on the doll, and boom, the doll is Egon. He then does his magic, may or may not have, um, <clears throat> uh, and then learns about Egon's biggest fear. Fear of his family suffering and it being his fault phobia. Oh, and also he learns that currently there are no deities connected to Egon, 
and receives a little fox necklace. The end. Yay! Yay! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, we are definitely uh, branching out in some new in some new ideas here. So good. <laughs> yeah. It's... Well, I'm pretty sure that summarized everything up pretty well. Yeah, 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 no, it was every, everything and more. I couldn't <laughs> find the timeline of the uh, in the video with like where the name of the gnome was mentioned. If That's it was because mentioned or... Tekka never asked. Oh, that makes we a lot of sense. Ask for names. <laughs> we, we are a very rude party. So <laughs> I've forgotten the innkeeper's name, by the way. Uh, I wrote it down at one point. It was something. Uh, Saya. Saya. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dennis. I would give an inspiration for that, but um, you already have. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend I just gave you that one. Why it looks so shiny? You can give your extra to me. I've got space. Anyways. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this sets a precedent of having people actually sponsor our our recaps. Uh -huh. but, and somehow I didn't get any money, though. Uh, you got uh, Dennis, do you know what happened this? to that? Did you, did, you, uh, did you make the checkout to yourself, by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> well... I think we should start with a session. It's already pretty late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well then, uh, we left off with the group stepping out of the temple. Uh, everyone but, but Pontifex, who was uh, uh, back at the tavern to meet a friend of his. Uh, what is the plan from here? I... What time from... was it? It's uh, around. Uh, it's before, just before noon at this point. Huh. Are we all together going out? Probably. Yeah, uh, uh, after, uh, after leaving the temple, yeah. Yeah. Well. Oh, well I... Yeah. Oh, yeah. The la the last thing I said is that Talix was going to take a little cat nap. <laughs> Well, oh. you all went to, uh, to ah, check that's out right. the uh, bulletin. That makes sense, yeah. That's that's what I said. But... Mm -hmm. Well, did we see any bulletin boards before on our way here? No. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what sure thing exists. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we're lost. To the tavern. Nothing to do. <laughs> we should probably go to the tavern and figure out if there even is one. Do we see anyone with an exclamation point over their head? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you just left one behind. Uh, <laughs> but um, <laughs> any with more moral. <laughs> Well, it it sounds like uh, you might uh, you might be thinking of um, of heading off if there is uh, nothing left in Cleon. But uh, okay, so more seriously, you can uh, accompany Talix to the tavern to begin with. Uh, Talix is a little bit uh, um, low on uh, on sleep time uh, for mm -hmm. for today, uh, and you could use a nap. And I guess, like, overall, you could decide whether you want to leave uh, today or if you want to leave tomorrow. Uh, but the things that you came here to do, mainly to uh, send the letters and uh, uh, for Pontifex, who was uh, interacting with, uh, uh, with his friend, uh, they have been done? Yep. Hmm. All right, then it's... Uh, and any chance that Pontifex got, like, a juicy plot hook or quest opportunity from Stars in Her Eyes? <laughs> well, uh, 
the fact that Matt is not here still does make things a little bit more complicated. Because uh, I don't know what ultimately they would have ended up talking about. Um, but yeah. with, with a bit of luck, perhaps he might have something, uh, um, or rather someone that he might be interested in talking to. And that person, uh, assuming that like you guys go back to the tavern and like he's uh, done talking to her, um, you can find out that he does have somebody he'd like to talk to, and that person currently lives in uh, in Erka, which is a gnomish colony mm. far to the west of here. Yeah. So. All right. I was well, everything to... seems to be west. Yep. Well, except not for um... grandmother. <laughs> right. And uh, uh, the place where Buvan actually lives. <laughs> yeah. Just throwing it out there. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's going to be conducive to us getting money to help our our quest. <laughs> Well, it sounds like Boovin's willing to just give you everything he owns. Talix <laughs> would not abuse that goodwill more than he already has. Oh. <laughs> Reached um, the upper limit. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm down just to head to the tavern and and. Yeah, we can always ask the innkeep, or if there even is a bulletin board. Yeah, then to that tavern. Okay, yeah. Uh, you, you head for the tavern, you had a brief conversation with Pontifex where he expresses interest in uh, continuing uh, uh, your travels. Uh, Talix, you are the one currently in possession of uh, Jamuel. Mm. Um, would you like to, ha to head him off back to Pontifex? Um, yeah, sure. Before I do, do I see the uh, the changes? Sure. If you if you check out the book, uh, um, as it's been happening ever since you you found him, uh, this ancient book has been uh, uh, chronicling uh, your your journey so far, uh, writing about the things that have been happening to you, the things you have been doing, and also his own thoughts and feelings uh, on on the situations that uh, uh, you have gone you have gone through. Uh, and you can absolutely talk to him about uh, any of it. Hey, everyone. Of uh, Jamil's been uh, chronicling what's what he's seen with us since uh, we've joined up, you know. And there's this mention of this mechanical bird. What? Uh, just... Was it yesterday or the day before? Hmm. Yesterday. Yeah, we haven't been here that long. Yeah. Just from yesterday. You see that? Any of, any of you noticed that? <clears throat> Would I know what that is? Um... Well... You... And... Uh... Um, all right. Everybody who's interested can roll a history check, and uh, Rook can roll one with advantage. Let's go. Oh, my. Uh, actually, Talix also gets a roll at advantage. Oh. Close. Good rolls. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Almost a net 20. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Okay. Um. Oh, damn. That was... And it's rolling well. Okay. Let me just go through here real quick. Okay. Okay. Got it. Uh... Brooke, with uh, you being a phantom and being uh, aware in general of the uh, 
of whatever might transpire at any one point in uh, uh, in Ladaria. Uh, while you have not heard of birds made of metal, you have heard uh, that... Uh, um, well, people say that there is something uh, in the area uh, between Simleyalon, Erka, and uh, uh, the lake that is to the to the west of them. Uh, there's this large uh, um, there's this large grassland that is where uh, there are no colonies that have been built, uh, and uh, that area is uh, avoided by. All travelers, because uh, it is uh, there is this rumor about uh, uh, some kind of uh, machine that uh, uh, is that travels in that area and that attacks uh, uh, people, Eldarians uh, and Plurnans alike. Although, to your knowledge, that machine is uh, not uh, uh, a bird. Ah, huh. you saw wow. to the lake left. West of Erica and Simley Lawn Red. So mm -hmm. something here. Should I look at some map? Oh. Or is it the lake up here, the big one? Oh, uh, there's a lake up there? It, it's this area. Yeah, it's got some huh. settlements on it that I can't read the names of. Yeah, let me bring <coughs> up the map. Mm -hmm. uh, but the main reason why the road kind of goes uh, uh, around instead of cutting through that is uh, specifically because of those rumors. Okay. This is so the area in, this area in question. Yeah, and that's why there is All no right. road that goes here or that goes here or here. Can we plop a marker up here in Bermuda's Triangle then? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, should promote all of you so you can. Oh, could we get? Ah, could we get one of those rings? Like a uh, area oh. of effect ring put in that area uh do you have those right i think i, those think I do because i yeah you were the one who imported those i don't think i have them promote that you can import. okay <clears throat> well i haven't heard of like a metal bird but there are at least rumors that between erica Simlilon, and well, the area between those two cities and the lake west of that is being, well, patrolled by some machinery. But as I said, it's that attacks people once you get in there. But as I said, it's not a bird, so... Jamie, are you sure that you saw a bird? That's so... I've never heard of anything like it. Well, I have never seen it or encountered it, but... That's terrifying. If it's true. <clears throat> Ooh, um, also small correction. I said it's a grassland, but this area is actually a jungle. Mm. Well, I suppose I have heard a few outlandish things about Ladaria too that are probably not true. Still, I don't think Chamiel lied about what he saw. Chamiel, uh, you're with us, right? Did can you tell us more about what it is you saw yesterday? Uh, hold on. Are you guys set up here? Mm -hmm. I think so. Oh, good. Okay. And save it. Okay, you were just... Uh, did you just ask something to, to Jamil? Yeah, basically more about what he saw. Okay. Uh, 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 there we go. I'll be typing. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. If you don't know anything else about it. That's some Ooh. comfort. You think it might belong to one of the people here? Possibly. At least then it is not... Uh... 
<clears throat> machinery I have heard about. Is this in line with any sort of magic I've heard of? Like, do I know of a type of magic that might allow someone to make something like that? Do I know that, like, artificers exist or something, <laughs> basically? <laughs> well, there is the, there's two ways to go about making machines, and in Plurna it is uh, uh, advanced enough technology that it is something you guys would know about. Uh, so there are people who can build things that are mechanical and can fulfill certain purposes, and uh, uh, some are able to also infuse them with magic, but although they don't necessarily have to be. Uh, although... Generally, they are machines for, like, doing jobs, and you've certainly not heard of one that's just, like, going around attacking people. Would I have any reason to suspect this would have connection to a gnome? Uh, it's likely, but not, uh, uh, it doesn't have to be. Gnomes are known for, for their kind of technology and for building machines. Uh, but it doesn't mean that no one else could have done it. All right. Although uh, the area of the world that we just talked about and we pointed out uh, is directly above the Gnomish colony. Hmm. I wonder if it had... Uh, it's a long shot, but I wonder if it had anything to do with that gnome that you met before Tekka. Hmm. Could be... Mechanical beings have a creator. Hmm. Well, maybe we just keep an eye out from now on. Make sure that we aren't being followed by anything. <laughs> well, I suppose we should have been doing that anyways. <coughs> Crew, that is good to know. I mean... Even if it is originally from that <coughs> gnome colony, it is very far away. I'm so it has you're right, it has to be someone in this colony. Alright, well I'll see if I can get a bit of sleep and uh well, the rest of you, just maybe see if you can find some work around town before we head out. Alright. I'm very short on funds. But if we must leave, I can. Although I would like to wait at least until maybe tomorrow morning. If you wouldn't mind. I can accept that. Okay. Well, see you all in a bit. I would make my way to the innkeep again. What was her name again? Saya. Saya. Said MVP. Yep. <laughs> Isn't the same one? <laughs> well, uh, maybe not. At this point... Uh... Wait, what? Wait, what did you ask? Is it, same, is it the same innkeep? Yes. She was gone during the night, but you found her again like in the evening and the morning. Oh. Uh... Before then... we proceed... Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Let me just make this official. Oh boy, I don't know how to do this without uh, uh, revealing things on stream. Mm. What? Do you want to just hide the source for a few seconds while you need to do... Yeah, we'll just uh, hide this for a moment. Bloop! There we go. Okay, and you guys can't see what I'm holding here on my side of the sc of the black screen. I can't see it. Nope. Okay. okay. Uh, then I will just uh, draw these. Um. There it is. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, um, don't be scared. 
Are you looking for a rumor card? Is that it? Yes. I thought she was looking for the Tarasque figure that she had <laughs> stuffed away and somewhere. And bring back the screen. Here we are. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> okay, uh, Brooke, you, appro you approach Zaya, um, who uh, at this point she's busy just running around uh, uh, getting lunch to some of the people who are, who are in here at this hour. Uh, but when... Uh, she uh, she makes time for you after about uh, you don't have to wait for more than thirty seconds or so. Uh, when she comes over and uh, uh, asks what she can do for you. Uh, sorry for disturbing you again, but I would have a question. Is there something like I don't know a job listing a board where people look for help? By any chance? Something like a bulletin board? Jobs for phantoms or other mm -hmm. people? I mean, I didn't see any banners, so I assumed there are no jobs for us here. But both, I guess? Well, for both, the answer is no, but... And, um, <laughs> she... She holds up a finger, like a, like in a wait a moment gesture, and she she goes in the back and uh, uh, comes back after like ten or fifteen seconds, uh, and um, she taps her fingers uh, on the counter and says, uh, um, "If you, as a phantom, are looking for a job, I have heard that uh, um, there are plenty of phantoms that are gathering on the western side of the peninsula. Uh, something to do with." Uh, a machine in a jungle. Huh. You don't say. <laughs> what a coincidence. <clears throat> what is that card she just handed you? <laughs> oh, I got a it's card. Her <laughs> uh, huh. There you go. All right. Well... <laughs> This is what's and gonna he's... come up today. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> well, while we're talking about machines, have you ever seen, like, a flying metal bird around here? Um... Hmm. Uh, Zaya nods and says, uh, not me, but I've heard that uh, some people have spotted something like that nearby. It's been around for a month. Sometimes it goes away, but then it comes back. <clears throat> so it doesn't belong to anyone here? As far as I'm aware, nobody really knows who it belongs to. Interest. I think... Uh, I think somebody tries to try to shoot it down once, but it didn't work out. All right. Well, if I should meet up with the other phantoms, do you have like? Well, the area is quite big, especially if you say it's like the western side. Do you have like a little bit more details about the location, or is it stuff for us to find out? The request I have here specifically comes from Erka. I'd imagine you'd find more details uh, uh, <sighs> where to stop by that by there. It's a gnome colony, huh? All right, thanks. Surely somebody like you can handle a place like that. <laughs> I should be fine. All right, we'll come back later. And I return back to Tekka. And Pip. Assuming they're together. <laughs> yeah, and Pontifex. Like, the only person who... I mean, yeah, Tex hasn't Pontifex. gone to sleep yet, right? Where is he? Is he were kind of mid-conversation? I don't know. I think he has. Okay. I think he just went straight off and left the rest of them. Yeah. So it's everybody, including uh, Jamiel and the Squeak. But not Talix. What well, have you learned? A few things, actually. She didn't really tell me about 
any job that uh, could bring us money here. She did. I asked about the bird, and she said it has been around here for a month, but people don't know who it belongs to. Also, <sighs> near Erica, Erica, <laughs> near Erica, <laughs> apparently a lot of my people are meeting to take care of that middle thing I just talked to you about. Hmm. I see. Do you wish to be there and support them? I'm gonna be honest. Gnomes are not... And I look around, are there any gnomes around me? Not currently. Whew. Gnomes are not... my preferred race to be around. <laughs> but... That's the... That's the... <laughs> He's Austin laughing because how, of how can previous. I, how can I put racism and delicacy? Just, just you know. casual racism. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have to be, but especially since it's a job for phantoms, I'm. No offense, I'm not sure if everyone is suited for that, right? Is there need multiple of us? It has to be something big. But didn't Pontifex say that he has a friend in Erica? True. <sighs> Brooke sighs. You know what? If we really need to go there, I have a few funds. I can get us some... Well... Some food for the way and whatever we need. And we can make our way there. We have that... to go over in that direction anyway to get to the elf tree. That is true. Hmm. Should we, while Talix recovers, look for hmm, transport? That would be a smart idea. Can I look for the bird while you do that? <laughs> yes. Do you have ways? He points at his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> then go and search it. <clears throat> Worst case, or if anything happens, we meet back at the tavern. Take a nut. Alright, off we go. Okay. Uh, let's begin with Pip. Uh, how are you searching for the bird? I think Pip is just like going up and down the river on one side and then, you know, scanning the horizon, looking at the houses and trees. And uh, if he doesn't see any on one side, he'll move on to the other side and just see if he can spot some sort of shiny bird. Okay. I'll go ahead and roll investigation. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I seem to be asking you for that all the time. <laughs> How's that? Oh. <laughs> well, as far as you can tell, as you, uh, you even occasionally climb on a rooftop, or actually there's plenty of trees around here. Uh, you, yeah, you climb on a few trees just to, um, check between the branches and also get a bit of like a vantage point to uh, look from above um, there is absolutely no trace of uh, uh, of a 
of a bird that's made of metal. Um, you do have a brief conversation with uh, a bird that is not made of metal. Um, <laughs> Second best who, thing. <laughs> who reports uh, seeing uh, um, something like that? Uh, uh, this, this, this bird will refer to it as a, uh, as a strange shiny one, which you figure it's, it's probably what it means. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, while it, it does confirm that there has been something like that around, uh, it doesn't know where it currently is. After, uh, after your long search, uh, uh, eventually you will return to the tavern uh, uh, with, uh, with nothing to show for your efforts. Pip is sad. Sad Pip. Next time, buddy. <laughs> okay. Uh, next for Tekka and Brook. Uh, uh, what are you planning to do? Um... If nothing else, uh, Tech will probably head to the marketplace unless we can see any carts on our way there. What kind of carts? Um, carriages. Uh, things that could potentially be connected to like a, a, an, a pulling animal of sorts. Okay, there is something like that, uh, um, and it's something that you, you might have heard Pontifex talking about uh, on one day ago when he was hanging around that stage in the market, as there is a, a, a small series of, uh, uh, of carts that are full of uh, feed that you know are meant for, for cattle, uh, and there is a couple of wagons with them that are for people, and it seems like they're 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 loading those up, and are uh, it seems like they're they're going to be heading out of the town at some point. Uh, yeah, Tekka will immediately approach uh, and say, "Where are you traveling?" The person that Tech ends up talking to is uh, um, a, a human man uh, that he has not interacted with already, and uh, um, he is obviously um, hmm, hmm, hmm. surprised that he is being approached and talked to, but not uh, necessarily intimidated by uh, by you, unlike most people would be uh and he just straightens his back a little bit puts the um after putting down the the crate that he was holding and uh, he he says why who are you my name is Tekka. my group is heading west are you Um, pauses, looks at you up and down, then he uh, gives a bit of a shrug and uh, uh, says, Heading for Vera? Hmm. Not in particular. That's where we're going. I guess us... I'd... Yeah, go on. I guess it would at least be a start. I'm pretty sure we won't find anyone that brings us directly so far west. <clears throat> well, would you have some space for five people? Okay, roll persuasion, either of you. Mm -hmm. 
Are you holding up your persuasion tall? <laughs> <laughs> Tegra's not holding the saw today. Okay. Well, do you not want today. to or should I? Hey, if Brooke's not taking charge, Tegra will definitely, so... Dude. It's your you know choice. Is Brooke taking no. charge or not? You know what? You started the conversation, so you go ahead. Okay. <laughs> the whole time, jeez. <laughs> Rolling for that time, right? You you rolled the nat twenty to make sure you concealed the body. <laughs> no, that was not my most. That was your secret. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Teka, not very persuasive. You should probably know this by now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the uh, man glances briefly at you guys, then out of your coin pouches, and says, I could make room. Well, how much would it cost? Heading from here to there, it's uh, 170 miles, so I'd say a silver per mile. You should know that roads are dangerous. We are capable and can protect your cart. He scoffs and says, the road between Cleon and Mira is not dangerous at all. I'm not really looking for mercenaries, but if you're looking for a cart, I can offer that. 107 silver, so much gold? 17. 17. Oh. When are you planning on leaving? In an hour. Ooh. Could you... I look at Tekka. Do we take it? They go without us. Wait, was it a yes or a no? <laughs> they go without us. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for your offer. <laughs> he goes back to um to loading up his uh, his cards. <clears throat> Any reasons they're going without us? Alex needs rest. Well, he can rest on the card. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. Whew. Well, anything else around here that gets us faster there? I look around. Yeah, uh, <laughs> bo both of you can roll an investigation check. Who? There is one person in the market who is currently selling horses. Uh, she has two of them, and uh, uh, she's selling them for for fifty gold each, or uh, eighty total if you're buying both of them. Uh, two horses aren't enough, right, Tika? Hmm. I am not familiar with horses. Oh. Well, I guess I can take two at maximum. Could they hold... Could one hold you and Pip? Probably, but... Taking Telex's backpack into account, that comes for another person. <laughs> <laughs> so, technically, we need, like, three horses. Hmm. What about <laughs> teachers? <laughs> In the cave, teacher could carry heavy burdens. Yeah, but for how long can he do that? Hmm, okay. 
since Pontifex is with you, uh, let me take a quick look. Uh, the thing you're thinking of that he did back in the cave was a flute in this. You can do for an hour at a time up to potentially six hours per day. Floating Game. disc is is that a, it's not a ritual spell, right? Uh, it is. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. So he could potentially do it the whole day, right? Mm hmm. Just taking <laughs> 10 minute breaks. Yeah. And, um. Yeah. The disc does not have a speed cap. Oh, I'm not <laughs> sure where I got that from. Uh, oh, if yeah, you move it just more than 20 feet speed. away from it, the disc follows you so that it remains within 20 feet of you. Oh, okay. My bad. Well. Well, if we buy these horses, we won't have any money left for anything <laughs> food-wise. True. I believe we can manage on the road. So it you're is saying... how I made it this far. I agree. I've been mainly traveling by foot as well. All right. Should we, instead of going back empty-handed, should we just fill up on rations and stuff like that? So we're ready whenever... Well, Talix wanted to stay the night, so we're ready for tomorrow. Sounds fine, yes. And, and while we're at the marketplace, we definitely do not see a bolted board anywhere around, right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do not. No, I imagine so. Uh, is anyone talking at the talking platform? Uh, today? Today, there is someone uh, giving a speech on uh, um, the... Da, 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 da. It's some philosophy jargon that is so complex that you can it just barely keep up. Great. <laughs> uh, there, there are some keywords that you catch here and there, but it almost feels like he's talking a different language. Pontifex them nods along. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, how is everyone on rations? Uh, tech is doing well on rations. Just so I know how much to buy. I have two. Uh... I don't know if if Pip is with you guys, he might remember that Talix fought a fair amount the other day. I have like, like several months days off. worth. So Tekka, if we use the rations we have, plus keep foraging like we've done so far. We should make it <sighs> yes. to Wa Wavern? Vera? Yes, I believe that to be the name. We should be okay. There is always food to find. Okay. Well, then let's go back and tell everyone the good news that we're walking. And Brooke would make his way back. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> yes? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It can, be, it can be done later. No problem. Oh, Brooke is not walking straight back. I said it could happen later. Just, okay. yeah. Then, We're all going to the tavern. Uh, you don't. Okay, alright. 
You meet up with uh, Pip at a tavern. Pip is uh, in the hallway currently uh, trying to play a game with Trixie where Pip has like uh, a string that he releases into the air and Trixie tries uh, is, is seeing if Trixie will fly up and catch it. <laughs> yeah, Trixie is uh, is playing with you for a little bit, uh, uh, but she keeps getting distracted and uh, smelling you, and smelling like your shoulders and your scarf. Oh no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> do I have to kill this cat? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I think that Pip will get like a telepathic message from Squeak saying, Pip, you gotta get out of here. <laughs> the cat's dangerous, Pip. <laughs> and Pip will, will, will stand up and and uh, try and get away from Trixie. <laughs> uh, Trixie will follow. And every once in a while she bats her wings and flies up so she's above you and then swoops down and lands into your hair, starts uh, like um, putting her paws up to the various trinkets that you have in your hair and trying to like bite them and pull them off. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so as you walk in, you see Pip currently <laughs> is like trying to get this cat out of his hair. <laughs> Just batting his oh. hands upwards. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Pip? Uh, <laughs> Pip is going to try. <laughs> Pip is going to try and telepathically shove Trixie off of his head. <laughs> oh damn! Okay. Uh, what does that take? Is it a check? It's a strength saving throw. <laughs> I didn't think I'd been eating the Tresim's stat block today, but here it is. He he knows Trixie will be fine. They always land on their feet. Yeah. And she, she can fly anyway. A strength saving Just throw? gotta get off my head. And well, I have a four. But that fails. <laughs> um, to the rest of you, it just kind of looks like... Uh, Trixie suddenly lost her grip and fell a little bit, but she, she bats her wings and just lands uh, on the floor, uh, trying to look graceful as she does, like she intended to do that all along. And then um, le, with, with her tail held up, she turns around and begins to leave. Oh. Hey, you two get over here. She's trying to kill me. What has happened? Did she try attacking you? First she smelled me. And then, then she tried to kill Pip. And Pip says, no, she didn't. Nah, I know cats. <clears throat> well, good news that she is gone. Good news is we can leave tomorrow morning. That is good news. Bad news, we have to do it on foot. Ah, nuts. Well, it's not like you're walking. <laughs> 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 Squeak raises a hand. <laughs> raises, raises a paw. <laughs> Do you want to say something? No, come on, come on. Don't leave me uh, hanging. Uh, I, mm, <laughs> I guess he points his pointy finger at him. He, he smacks it. He looks at his finger. Well... I'm assuming Telex hasn't woken up yet? Uh... I think hearing you all in the hallway, Telex will open the door, stand there kind of... kind of groggy, rubbing his eyes. Uh, <clears throat> so, did you manage to find anything interesting? Oh! Yeah, true. Well... Um, Options there... are few. Yeah. 
and far between. We are walking tomorrow. Where are we headed? West. Where? Yeah. <laughs> I guess the ultimate goal is Erica, but West is a start. We're not going after that priest's rumor, though, right? No. Okay. Oh, it's a shame we couldn't find more work here, but... Wait, uh, what is Vera again? Uh, what... What kind of colony is it? What nation is it aligned with? Vera is a Cambellian colony. Oh, okay. Well... Hmm. Campbell, known primarily for um, being ruled by dragons. Right. It is um, another place that's somewhat like uh, Nasridora uh, has very varied uh, um, kind of humanoid races living in it. So you expect that that colony will also be kind of varied in, the, in that regard, and perhaps you want to stick out that as much as you would anywhere else. Uh, but beyond those two... Uh, well, that's it. Yeah, it probably won't be too hard of a place for us. I mean, they sort of worship dragons, so can't be too hard on arcane magic users. <laughs> dragons. You know, I hear there might even be one <gasps> there in Vera. I'm not sure if we'll get to see it, but... Are they really as big as a building? Oh, can be bigger from what I understand. They were a big fascination of my father's. Are they bigger than the Obsidian Eye? Hmm. You know, I'm not sure. Did I've never seen one of those. Oh, uh, he was trying to. I think he. I think he managed. You don't know? Hmm. Uh. Can I just make a call on this? Uh, what's the question? If. Because Talos's father. Uh. Like, around Talos's childhood, did go to Campbell to study. Like, uh, in the hopes of learning a bit about the dragons. Would he have actually been able to meet one? Um, yeah, I would like to decide on that one. Well, he the would have been very determined have to been... meet one, so... Yeah, it's not, it's not difficult to do if you're actually in Campbell. Um, All right. I mean, they're, they're rare, but the, the council is in the capital, uh, so anyone could actually see them. And plus, uh, there is okay. a, uh, a few other dragons outside of the council, but mainly, like, if somebody wanted to see a dragon, they'd just go to the capital and they'd have a chance. All right, walk that back a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, uh, he wrote and told me a bit about him, but... Huh, that sounded almost too unbelievable. <laughs> uh, I always we'll thought about going there dragon? myself someday. Well, maybe so. That would be very interesting. I'd like to meet one too. <clears throat> I'd assume we leave early in the morning tomorrow. So try to yeah. get some proper sleep tonight, Alex. Get an early start, sure. Although I've just took a bit of a nap, so I don't know how early I'll be able to go to bed tonight. Uh. But yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna do anything crazy tonight. It's... So, do we have any other plans for today? Hmm. I should probably try to eat something. Uh, would you like dinner? Wait, is it dinner time? No, it's the early afternoon. Oh. 
Okay, uh, I suppose we just... Hmm. I might pay no, one last visit to that Ezin. Oh, if there's anything else you want to do, though. Um, anyone who wants to look at my rock collection is welcome. Hmm. Sure, you know what? I, I might show you a bit of my collection as well. If you'd be interested. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Describe the collections for me. Okay. Well, <laughs> Tip, do you want to go first? Sure, <laughs> sure. I feel like, I mean, Pip's collection is pretty much just rocks, so not a lot of variety um, as far as that goes. And, you know, there, there are rocks of various shapes and sizes, most of them pretty small, um, different colors and hues, some, some appearing rarer than others, uh, and some are recent, uh, some that you've seen, uh, Pip collect over the, the, uh, the time that you've been with him. Um, but there is actually one in, in his collection that isn't exactly a rock. Uh, there's, the, there's actually a petrified mouse that he keeps in his, uh, pouch as well and counts it along one of his rocks. Uh, petrified, like, actually turned to stone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Talix would have been interested in that. Uh, he would have asked you if you knew how it happened. I don't know. Uh, I actually got this from the Yavelsi. Oh, um, crap. Uh, trying to remember what... Okay, yes, I remember. Um, you, you met some. And you traded with them then? Yeah, yeah. They 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 come to they came to our our colony sometimes, and I traded a religious book for it. Oh, well, I, I did you teach them to read it too? <laughs> no, I I didn't read it either. Hmm. Well, maybe that'll maybe they'll figure it out. That's uh, it's an interesting artifact, anyways. I wonder how it happened. Uh, Squeak so... thinks it's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can understand that, yeah. But maybe you can learn something from it, too. What do you have? Uh... Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to read that. <laughs> um so Talix will get out and I mentioned it before he's got another book in addition to the really big one that he normally writes in and he'll kind of flip through it and show some uh much generally much cruder drawings and also a bunch of feathers and bugs and uh leaves and flowers and things like that. They'll say that this all came from the old world, from Plurno. Uh, some of them are looking kind of rough, like some of the specimens are kind of rough. Uh, but he'll also, as he's speaking about them, um, try to use a bit of magic and uh, fix some up and restore them in some way. And you can might, might see that happen. Uh, it's Greater or lesser effect. Uh, but generally... Yeah, he's just going to talk to you a bunch about... The old... The old plants and animals and stuff that you could find over in Plurna that he... That you might not have known of here. Uh, and you'll find out that he's especially fond of certain birds. Uh, he might talk to you about... Uh, crows and blue jays and... Things of that nature. Cool. Yeah, Pip is Pip is very interested, especially in in the the animals that he's probably never seen or heard of. He'll talk to you a bit about barn owls too. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to know that uh, they've got similar things here. I wonder. 
Ah. Uh, some things here are so different, and yet some things are so similar, and it makes me wonder how how it all relates, you know? Yeah. Like, it couldn't, just, it couldn't just be the same on accident, right? There's so much we need to learn about the world. I was, Maybe. you know, I was, uh, I was born at the same time as, or more or less the same time Ladaria was discovered. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign. Maybe I'm meant to understand the greater things about the world that we, uh, that we wrongly assumed, or uh, that'll disprove the assumptions we made for thousands of years before, before Jamil's great discovery here. You know. Oh, you have a divine destiny. <laughs> maybe so. Maybe. Or I'll make it my destiny. Maybe, maybe the Lady of the Land and Vakanath. 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 Maybe they, maybe they like read each other's notes when they were, when they were <laughs> making these places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Maybe they're, uh, yeah, maybe they're all connected. <laughs> I don't understand your land, but if it is indeed similar to mine. I wish to see it. Oh. Yeah, let's do that someday. After we get everything sorted here. I think we have a lot to learn from one another. I had never really left my town, so I'm I'm really I'm really excited to just see more of this world. Me too. <clears throat> I was about oh. to say that we haven't even discovered this place fully, right? Oh, not even close. Well, Jamil's probably seen so much of it that no one else has even heard of, but well, sadly, he can't seem to share that with us, at least not yet. But he'll remember everything the, the more we go. Mm -hmm. Tekka, Tekka. Yes, Bip. How, how far have you gone past the Pensla? <laughs> I have not gone further west than this. The Where shore is what I know. You know, uh, well, some Ladarians have uh, said that it's forbidden <laughs> for people like us, but well, Jamiel's made some expeditions, managed to stay in their good graces. I think as long as our intentions are pure and we're not trying to... Well, we stay mindful of the land. It should be fine. But we should be aware that once we go past the last of the colonies, it could get dangerous. But it's a while before we need to worry about that. What are our priorities? Well, we'll head west, see maybe something Maybe we'll find something in Vera, Vera. Uh, but fail on that. I'd like to go to Arya afterwards before we head to the big dangerous place out in the out in the jungle. It's more or less on the way, though. Might is anyone uncomfortable taking a boat? Sounds good to me. 
Okay. Pip, you're not scared of boats, are you? Does Pip know what a boat is? <laughs> <laughs> um, Pip's colony was uh, um, on the was a port town on the okay. edge of the sea. Okay. Right. So yeah, yeah, it would. <laughs> yeah, I think he's fine with that. All right. Well, <clears throat> Tekka, I told you I'll help you get to the tree. I guess that is the only priority I have for now. Good. Oh yeah, I definitely want to see that tree too. We should not forget her request. Right, if I see anyone that fits such a description. Though we might have to go a bit further away from the colonies before we see anything like that. Egon was not one of her priests. No. no. Even though there was a statue in there of the lady, he was not one of her priests. Because he didn't have wings. <laughs> or powers. Or fangs. Right. <laughs> That's true. He didn't seem particularly keen on uh, on the other face either. Which, well, it is what it is. Maybe this place will get a more suitable priest in the future. <laughs> Me. You think? I am the cleric of the fox now. <laughs> well, that you, could... you could certainly try. I mean, for that you need to be able to speak to people, Pip. I'm working on it. <laughs> Well, you did say in the future, right? Oh. Uh, I think you can learn to overcome any obstacle. I did. Quite, quite. Uh, oh. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> well, you heard a bit about my situation. Uh, Pontifex oh. is here with us now, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking out of character. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, you know, it wasn't... Uh, I wasn't the sort of candidate that everyone was comfortable taking up such a position, but uh, you know, people more or less came around after I persevered, worked hard. You can do it too. Okay. Oh, anyways... So, we've been talking about rocks and plants for so long. The rest of you must be getting bored. <laughs> hmm. Not yet, but there are things needed to be done before tomorrow sunrise. Uh, Tekka, did you have any business here that I could help with? I noticed you... Uh, you don't seem to have your tools with you anymore. They remain safe. Right, I well. will stay by the river if you need me. Uh, you know, I, I'm a decent gardener. Did it some at my, uh, my first temple that I stayed in. Hmm. Landscape and work. If you have nothing to preoccupy you, then join if you wish. I like to keep myself busy. I might have a couple hours before I need to meet with uh, well, uh, my new friend. <laughs> okay. 
Um, Alright, so run it by me. Uh, Tiger is going to be hanging out near the river? Yep. Okay, doing anything in particular that I need to know about or nah? Tekka will be grabbing any nearby plants uh, and will also be fishing. Okay. Oh. Okay, what is You're Brooke harvesting. planning to do? Uh, I guess Brooke would take the last day in the city to take another bath before he goes back on the road. <laughs> All right. Um, Alex, you're waiting on a meeting with your friend? Uh, it's Alex wants to go with Tekka for a little bit and see what he's up to and try to help out. Okay. And uh, I think we did this leave. evening he'll come back. Right, it yeah. was in the evening, right? That you would like yeah. to Okay. I figured and, uh, that's when he'd be up. <laughs> and Pip? I don't know. I don't know what Pip wants to do right now. Yeah, well, you I think don't have he'll to, like, just like do follow something. other people around. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. In that case, I'm just going to ask for one survival roll from Tekka. Can do. For the Talks fishing and gathering though. of plants. But should oh, yeah, he be with, an advantage if Talix is assisting? Advantage. Yes, if Tekka allows Talix to assist, absolutely. Yeah. Talix has proficiency. So. I helped. You did. <laughs> you did help. Okay. Uh, there are fish in this river. Uh, well, yeah, you have a specific way of fishing, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you can describe that to, to Talix. That's interesting. <laughs> All right. Um, so part of um, tech guys kind of like uh, digging up the roots of certain plants, uh, both like nearby the river's edge and probably taking some of the water plants as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, about part those of... plants, uh, um, yeah. surprisingly, you come across one particular uh, kind of plant that you're absolutely not at all familiar with. Uh, um you're not really sure what it is, but it's some kind of... Uh, it, it mainly... So it grows uh, it, kind of towards the middle of the river, as, as far from the edges as possible. And uh, uh, it grows just tall enough so that the very top reaches the surface of the water. And there's a small uh, pink flower uh, at the top. So you gather, you gather some of that. Hmm. Talix, have you seen any plant like this i think that's a new one uh if you don't mind i'd like to take one or two of those for my for my um, book actually alex can oh. you roll a nature check for me okay Ooh. look nature. at you go <laughs> Alex, this sorry, is... I've got. I've decided to take expertise in nature. Alex is called uh, a wild water rose, and it's native oh. to Plurna. And uh, do I know anything interesting about it? Uh, roll a nineteen. Okay, you know that here in Ladaria. It's uh, it can be an invasive species. Um, it tends to oh. take out <laughs> other other native species in rivers, and uh, generally, well, with uh, with people like you, it is well known that uh, uh, it's better to remove them when they are found. Um, nobody really knows who brought them over, but clearly somebody did. Okay, so it's I see. Oh, actually, it's a plurnin plant, and uh, it can be a bit bad for the rivers here. Uh, someone must have brought them over. They are very beautiful plants, but uh, yeah, let's let's take as many of these as we can. Hmm. Bad? Do you mean fish will die? Uh, but they they outcompete the other plants, you know. You know how nature can be. <laughs> uh, the ones here aren't used to competing with these for resources. It's just uh, they tend to kill off the other plants. 
There's something like a very beautiful weed. So we take evil by its roots. <laughs> uh, oh, evil is a strong word, but I appreciate the sentiment. Yeah. Understood. Uh, is it hard? Do you have to like swim into the middle of the river? Take a little. Well, you will definitely have to to uh, pull up your sleeves and yeah, get wet because uh, you grow <laughs> right in the middle. Uh, but if if that's okay with with you, then it's it doesn't take a lot of work to actually uproot them. There yeah, are very so the spots still, like, shallow. Oh. Uh, yeah, the river here doesn't get too deep. Uh, there will be a few moments where you will have to submerge yourself to actually reach them. Thankfully, it's a very calm river. And it is easy to spot them since they, the flowers grow on top of the water surface. Right. So you hmm. collect about a dozen of them. I'd like do to hang on to a couple if you don't mind. Do we burn these? Oh. Letting I mean, them play will just make them spread. Oh, we can just take him with us. Well, I suppose I don't need more than a couple. If you want to burn the rest, that's that's up to you. Good. Uh, yeah, so... Unless Tyler's reject, uh, Tekka will keep walking uh, until he gets near to that tree where he slumbered. Uh, the night before. Mm -hmm. And this is basically the um, the same path that uh, you will have to take once you leave Cleon. Uh, but then there comes a moment when you do leave the road and you head south southward a little bit towards that one tree. Uh, Talus and Pip, you haven't been here. Before. Oh, is Pip with us? Uh, Pip said he would follow I've been Pip here all along. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I wasn't sure if he was with Brooke or us. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Did would Pip help rather... us uproot the flowers? Uh, I think Pip was, was would have just been, like, splashing in the water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's great. Um, uh, yeah, so you see Tekka, like, uh, dig up a part... Uh, of the dirt and uh, like take up his axe again. Uh, the nice axe, but it's saw. I needed a place to keep it. It seems people hmm, were on edge. Oh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, people are going to make some assumptions about you, especially as we go into some of the other colonies. I suppose I don't need to explain that. But... No. Well, I, I hope you know that we're going to be on your side, no matter what. Okay? Thank you. Alright. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, Tekka will head back to the river's side. And you see him... Uh, like uncap one of the a side uh, of his quarter staff, and out of his bag, uh, it's like this real attachment, and he is creating this makeshift fishing rod and kind of aligns the line with a few like hooks along the quarter staff, and begins to fish with some of the worms he dug up while digging up the roots of the certain plants. You make that tool so versatile. That's... It is not my doing. It is the last gift of my father. Your father is he uh, of this land? Not originally. He oh. is... Very clever. Uh, it's from Plurna, then? Correct. 
Uh, he was uh, an inventor of sorts then. He makes but what he has available and finds the solution to any problem. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, you said that was his last gift? He still lives. Oh. This is just a journey I have to do on my own. What are you looking for? A new hope. Just for and, yourself? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Not hmm. anymore. See. There are many things I do not know, Talix. So I also seek answers. Seems you do too. Well, we're going to see a lot together, I'm sure. I hope we find something, someplace wonderful for you. Do you think sure you'll know it when you see it? Yes. If there is one thing she has taught me, it is to trust your feelings. Something I agree. beyond your senses. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have a second rod. But oh, um, I, I may lend mine if you wish to try huh. uh you know i haven't done a bit of fishing since uh well it was probably my uncle uh took me a few times that's been decades at this point oh my <laughs> uh well okay sure i'd love to get a shot see if i remember anything I could tell the fish to bite if you want, but that feels <laughs> rather cruel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Do not demand of nature. Let it take its course as the river flows. Talix, his expression is much more sad now as he takes the <laughs> <ride>. <laughs> He was very excited. <laughs> Roll a survival check with disadvantage. Oh. Uh, I love how easy that is now. <laughs> oh. That's not too bad. You, you will catch a few fishes despite the uh, feeling bad about it. Please don't tell me what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you you don't hear the screams. Pip. <laughs> <laughs> I think Pip would have to walk away. I I like uh, to. I will keep them in a bucket so oh, they're you know, not not dying <laughs> until like we're ready. Uh, Pip, and you Their can only... screams are deafening. You can only understand them when they are in the water. Once they're pulled out of the water, uh, the 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 noises don't make any sense. And then once they're put back in the in the water bucket, you can hear them again. Just just you know, generic screaming noises. They mutter noises. their silent cries. <laughs> it's like the opposite of like a person <laughs> that can talk out of water but can't inside <laughs> underwater. <laughs> yes, like okay. that. Oh god, please! <laughs> <laughs> This was going to be a wholesome fishing trip. <laughs> I'd be able to take the, the hippie kid along. 
I'll just be like, it's gonna be okay to <laughs> them while they're in the bucket. <laughs> no! Girl a deception, deception check. check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> oh. oh, goodness. Well, uh, after I get a few and Pip is like visibly anguished, I'll give it back to Tekka. <laughs> oh, thank you for that experience. Uh, guess I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> You continue to impress Talix. Spends a lot of time outdoors as a child. <laughs> Perhaps even being of different lands, we are not too dissimilar. I felt that about all of you in some form or another. Okay, and that took a turn. Did, did Pip manage to calm the fish? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> the fish are uncomfortable Good. in the bucket, but uh, they trust you. Oh no. <laughs> Pip, as Pip passes by Talix and Tekka, he just says, Make it quick. Oh, I... I will. You do not seem well. If you wish to release them, we can. <laughs> Even if they are nice and big and juicy. <laughs> it's but... okay. It's all part of nature, I know. I mean, someday a big, a bigger fish might eat us someday, and that's just life. Well, yeah, I suppose. Let's try not to let that happen. <laughs> I am having second doubts about this lake. But yeah, um, Tekka will probably try to block the view for Pip <laughs> with his body, and uh, yeah. Slice. Are we gonna are we gonna clean them before we go back? Um, are we gonna? I don't think it would. I don't think Tekka would. All right, and we could bring him back to the to the tavern and do him up there. Share him with everyone. Hmm. Are you certain the tavern keeper appreciates? Oh, we should probably clean him outside, yeah. It's quite messy. Yes. And smelly. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, with that, uh, Pip probably still a bit anguished over it all. We start walking back. Meanwhile, Brooke is enjoying a bath. Mm hmm. Give me one of their skulls in remembrance. <laughs> I could give you the whole head. <laughs> okay, clean it first, though. Oh. Uh, that's a lot of work, but okay. <laughs> Maybe we just give it to Trixie. Oh. All right, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think one more thing for uh, for today. Um, after you're done with, uh, dealing with the fish, uh, um, you 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 be all back in the tavern, right, Brooke? After his bath, uh, you guys with uh, um, food and just waiting on uh, on Boobin, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, pick somebody to roll a d20 uh, for a chance of gaining a rumor. I think that should go to Brooke. He was at the tavern the longest. 
I already got one today. Oh, it's true. Okay. Uh, Pip, you were there quite a bit, right? Uh, I guess so. Playing with Trixie and stuff? That's true. Sure. Just a d20? Mm-hmm. Five rumors. No. <laughs> uh, no additional rumors of any significance uh, that you're going to hear about in Cleon. I failed you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you had one job, Pep. Come on. <laughs> but the chance does increase. Uh, like, it's cumulative. Uh, oh, it keeps increasing cool. until you do get a rumor. That's, that's a cool system. Um, so does this mean we're all having dinner together at the tavern? Or... Yep, I think so. Cool. Uh, Pontifex, I, I don't know for sure. Matt didn't really elaborate, but it sounds like he might not eat meat, so uh, Talix can share some, some of his rations with him. I can mm. go ahead and take a day's rations off. I don't actually recall, but that's a uh, yeah. You can you can do that. He he said offhanded that he avoided eating the sausage, so I, I th I'm extrapolating from that. I okay, right. Yeah, yeah. That does ring a bell. Just stood out to me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the rest of us can share and fish. Hmm? Yeah, people try you, the fish. How did you cook it? A oh, good point. Okay. Uh, we can't really light a fire in our room, can we? Not really. Uh... Hmm... I'm pretty sure Tekka's quarter staff can cook it. <laughs> <laughs> well... On this end is a flamethrower! <laughs> <laughs> I could make a big fire. Uh to go uh, back out of town. <laughs> uh, is there a fireplace in the tavern? There is, uh, but they're not really going to let you use it to make your own food. Could we, like, ask to use the kitchen? And maybe offer to pay? <laughs> or offer to share some fish? Oh yeah. Um, if Those you fish are can endangered. I, can I persuade? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, if you rest. offer, if you offer to pay, uh, I'd let you roll a persuasion roll with advantage. What if what if I offer to share a fish or a couple of fish with the with the innkeeper? Uh, she isn't really gonna do much with a couple of fish. To it's eat. mainly. <laughs> uh... It's good fish. <laughs> She's not going to eat the food that you guys are making. Um, it's mainly the fact that she needs a kitchen to, like... She needs to... Uh, they, there is her husband in the kitchen who is cooking the dinners for uh, for for the rest of the tavern, for the customers in the tavern. Uh, so she's only going to let you, like, loiter around in there uh, only if you uh, pay for it. And also, they'll just keep a close eye on you to make sure that nothing goes missing uh, and that you don't ruin uh, any tools. Um, so, All right. you can try a persuasion check. Uh, it's with advantage if you offer money, um, which she, she'll just let you do it for the. Um, ooh, hold on, let me, let me see. Um, what happened to the customers always right? <laughs> it's only in Plurna. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. So does the persuasion <laughs> check affect the price or what? <laughs> so like if it 18. was too low, she wouldn't let it happen anyway. Um, but she will ultimately let you let you use the kitchen for uh for fifteen coppers. Problem. Oh. <laughs> I am. Uh, I have seven copper left as all of my money. 
Maybe we should just go camping like the good old days. Uh, we'll have plenty of chances for that. I want to take another bath tonight, and I want to sleep in a bed all night. I was supposed to do last night. And Fine. you still have to pay for the second. Uh, oh, wait, night we didn't pay. Those. No, we didn't pay for one, one day. Time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sure you don't want to go camping? <laughs> <laughs> How much was it again? It was uh, five silver per bed. Well, it seems like we're going camping, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can sneak in a bath before we go. Yeah, you should have followed me. <laughs> <sighs> well, we already paid for the kitchen, so let's at least make ourselves comfortable for the time being. They didn't give us a checkout time, so uh, we're technically <laughs> not breaking the rules yet. Until midnight. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, who, who is it that paid for, for the kitchen? Tekka yeah. paid in full for the kitchen. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, and whoever is cooking will do a survival check with advantage because of all the tools available. Tekka okay. will do the cooking. Okay. Oh, man. And of course, if you, if you happen Tekka to Tekka pays, be... Tekka does, okay? <laughs> all right. Telex is not good of a cook anyway, so that's probably fine. Telex will request that you do not spice the fish. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Advantage. Advantage yeah. clutch. Almost ruined your perfect record. So yeah, um Yeah, that's that's it's good. <laughs> Smells good. Um you make uh, you make it you avoid the spicing uh Talix's meal. Uh and you have plenty, uh that's enough for the entire group, uh plus uh, a couple more people. Speaking of which, uh, Bubon shows up. <laughs> While Tekka uh, is cooking, uh, if... I don't know if... Uh, would, would Alex be with Tekka, or... Uh... I guess Alex would just be waiting in the... Uh, in the tavern area by the, by the entrance. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, I imagine um, the entire group is there. Uh, Trixie, every once in a while, comes over. Uh, sometimes she, she she always looks very interested in Pip, but uh, um, never approaches him again. Just watches from from afar. Um, yeah, eventually the uh, as the you, you first see him through through a window uh, as Boobin <laughs> approaches the tavern and, he, and he's carrying um, three books in his wings. And he pushes the door open with his shoulder and looks around and immediately, uh, sees Talix and, uh, uh, comes over. Yeah, I wave him over and introduce him to everyone. Uh, everyone, this is, uh, a friend I've made here. Made here. His name's Boobin. Ah, hello. Good evening. Good hello. evening. Uh, anyways... Uh, he's, uh, he studies Ladarian languages and people, uh, sort of like me, but, oh, he seems to be more knowledgeable than I am. Oh, no, 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 not, uh, not more, uh, no, 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 he, uh, Talix is being modest. Oh, oh, anyways, uh, well, I'm glad you're here, uh, you like fish? Uh, I did, uh, for, for eating them? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, I, yes, I do. Well, uh, join us. For dinner? Oh, why, uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, yes, that, that would be, that oh, would be, uh, would be nice. It's not too early for you, is it? Well, it is, uh, 
my breakfast, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, gladly, gladly. Oh, okay. Uh, anyways, um... Uh, well, I'm glad he made it, but we're actually leaving in the morning, so... Oh. I, uh... Well, I... I wanted to ask... <sighs> so, after this, you're going up to Chipton, then? Um, uh, not, not for a while. Uh, a few more days here first, and then, um... Uh, yes, eventually. What do you do up there? Well, uh, oh, it is just uh, where I live. I, s I see. Uh, but um, you work I with go, a we church go. there, or uh, yes, yes, yes. And uh, my group just uh, we 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 go where um where we are needed. And um uh, well, right now we're needed here, but once we're done here, uh, something. Well, uh, next job is in Alford, and and then um, uh, I have a bit of free time, and I was uh, hoping to to go back uh, to 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 my home. Oh, back to Plurna. No, no, no in, in my home in Chipton, I mean. Oh yes. <laughs> um. Uh, I guess I have two homes. Hmm. Well, that's. I uh. I want you to give. I wanted to give you some information, um, just in case you ever, I don't know, made a great discovery you wanted to share or anything. You could uh, contact me here, in Aria. Just send a letter, and uh, I'll get it eventually. Um. Right. I'll write right. Something right. Down. Right. Uh. I totally do do you happen to have um do you, do you happen to have a um a war point card and uh Talix and uh, Brooke know what this is and do have a card the the war point is a company that uh, um the the postal office that operates on uh, the Zasburg peninsula and uh you have a card, it allows for the mailman to actually track you uh, wherever you might be if they have to deliver a letter to you. Oh, crap. That's convenient. That is very convenient. Oh, yes, of course. That would be the better way of doing things. <laughs> uh, do you as well? I'll give them that information instead. Yeah, there's like a, there's a, there's a serial number that you can share to one another. Uh, but generally, all you have, if somebody does have a card, then uh, their full name and description should be sufficient, even if you don't know their uh, card number. But the card number, like, guarantees that a letter will find the recipient. Uh, so I will share write information all the information I can mm -hmm. think to write. Yeah, you share phone my number, numbers. My number, my name, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll give him the name of the church in Aria as well and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, and... Uh, Uvan shares his, uh, uh, his address in Chipton and the information on his card. And, uh, you never know, uh, we might need some work for him from you in the future. Uh, if you'd be available for such things. I would be honored, um, to, to, to work alongside you, Talix, if, uh, if you are in need of translations and, um, uh, you need somebody else to, 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 um, to help you. That, that would... Make me happy. Uh, uh, well, is there anything you wanted to go over tonight before uh, before we head off? I'd like to maybe get to a good stopping point for our uh, our discussions from earlier, if you don't mind. Yeah, the the books you brought over are the ones that you didn't get the chance to to um, to cover yesterday. And so you can, the two of you sort of like resume where you had left off and you just start talking uh, about languages and you, um, it's all your stuff um, that the 
Vester group isn't really going to follow, but Tekka does show up uh, uh, soon with dinner. And uh, Duvan is going to recognize him. And uh, at first he comments, Oh, I, I, I didn't know you worked here! <laughs> I do not work here. I have prepared dinner. Please uh, okay. eat it too. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's one of my companions. I, I heard you met him earlier. Hmm. Correct. Oh, oh, I I, I did not realize uh, that that you two are uh, working to working together, traveling together. Yeah, uh, as it happened. Oh, all of uh, us are exciting. That were proper adventures. <laughs> uh, and then Boovin looks a little bit flustered as he looks down at the uh, um, at his meal and uh, um, glances around and glances back at you guys and says, "Um, uh, not used to um eating with other people." And then he slowly brings uh, like um. Puts his wings under the plate and lifts it up so it's close to his face and he starts pecking at it. <laughs> um, I'll just... <laughs> I'm gonna feel a little embarrassed on... on Boofin's <laughs> behalf. <laughs> um... <laughs> but I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, the, the rest of the evening uh, is just going to be uh, a uh, well for for Talix and Boovan it's just going to be just a pleasant uh, further conversation slash uh, uh, work uh, and eventually Zaya is going to, uh, to approach and ask if you are going to stay for an extra night. Uh. You know, um, as it happens, I think we agreed that we're going to set out a little earlier than we anticipated. Maybe tonight, even? Is that right, everyone? He's right. Mm-hmm. Very well. In that case, I do ask that you, uh, you vacate my room and uh, I'll return the key. Alright, we'll get right on that. Hey! <clears throat> uh, you guys finish your meal and uh, you're ready to pack up? Uh, yeah. Alright! Talix. <laughs> he's going to try to take a fast bath <laughs> while they're while they're packing up and returning the key. Oh my god! Get his all get all his stuff in his backpack and bring it out with him, uh, and try to sneak a bath in before uh, <laughs> before everything's said and done. Yeah, in, in that case, Boovan will be leaving like as soon as you guys are starting to uh, leave the table and uh, heading off to pack. Oh. <laughs> to back up. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I was hoping we could have talked longer. Uh, we're kind of short on funds, though, so... Um, we need to leave town. Well, we can always... Uh, we can always... Um, ooh, well, we could keep in touch with... Uh, by uh, written correspondence? Please, let's do. Um, I'd, I'd very much appreciate it anyways. <laughs> then uh, I will update you on, on, on my uh, progress and my work as, as, uh, as I go. And uh, I, hope, um, I hope uh, to, to hear from you soon. Yes, yes, uh, me too. Um, I'll, I'll share you with you all of my adventures. And uh, uh, do you have any interest? I know you're interested in people and languages, but I'm also very interested in plants and animals and the natural things in Ladaria as well. I, we haven't had much of a chance to talk about it, but would you like to hear about that sort of thing? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, um, I would love to. I would love to. 
I'll, I'll be sure to share with you all of my discoveries. But now, uh, I am looking forward to, to your letters, Talix. It's been a pleasure, Bofin. He uh, picks up his books, sort of like uh, presses, pressing them uh, uh, with his wings against his chest, and um, nods towards all of you. And uh, he leaves. You guys are free to uh, pa pack up your things. Alex, you uh, try to get a bath as, as quickly as you can before uh, the party returns the key, the key to the room. And you're going to hit the road after the sun is already set. Are you going to sleep <sighs> near under a uh, Tekas tree? Yeah, I was thinking that. If, if it's good with Tekka and everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. How is the sky looking? Are we getting rain again? It has been raining the entire day for today. Okay. Got um, it. Yeah, it's not particularly heavy rain, but it has been kind of this constant drizzle. I really would have liked to be indoors. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> that is still an option. Not all can sleep in rain. Pontifex has no trouble with this. <laughs> I guess we're okay. You know what we didn't buy? Raincoats? A tent. Oh. Well, <laughs> can't afford it. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love I this really level. <laughs> I was really hoping we'd find work. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, is it set up to sleep for the night? Uh, under what little little cover the tree offers? We're gonna take a short break, and we'll be back after that. Ooh. All right. All right. Ooh. All right. I'll Ooh. see you in right. about ten minutes. Hello. <laughs> And welcome back! <laughs> Hello! Hey! Hey! You guys are laughing! <laughs> no, just timing. Very good timing. <laughs> That's great timing. What? what do you mean? I was reading a review on Steam for something, and then after I read it, you joined in. Oh. Yes, um, of course. I... I planned this. <laughs> the the fudge is not not great. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> it's uh, the, you can visually see that the fat's separated out a little bit, and uh, it's very chewy and kind of pasty. Wow. Oh. Not ideal. Like, yeah, the the additional cacao in the uh, in the chocolate clearly made a much bigger difference than I would have imagined. Next time, next time. Yeah, I'm sure there are some recipes with like uh, darker chocolate that probably uh, make some changes. Yeah, I mean, I would have just had. It, I probably would have just. I had to add extra milk in, in the initial process and use less of the actual chocolate. Which would have just made it milk chocolate, basically, but whatever. Like, clearly, you just kind of have to do that. Right, yeah. Why am I laying in the fire? <laughs> it's warm. It's really cold in the rain. You gotta find <laughs> a way to get your heat back. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> Dips on okay. the tree. So yeah, uh, we, we actually talked to the, Oh wait, is the stream back? Yeah. The oh, entire crap. fudge did conversation. I just, did I just announce? Been... No! <laughs> Everyone's gonna know that I'm bad at the I'm usually so good. I just... 
I put it too close to the sun, and now I'm, I, I'm being humiliated publicly. <laughs> I can I can confirm for everyone that Jason is an amazing cook. No. And mishaps happen. For everyone. I rolled a natural one, I rolled. <laughs> uh, we discussed a little bit on the break that um, we were going to try to do a similar thing to before last time we had the camp in the rain. You know, use okay. our blankets to make the best shelter we can under the tree. All right. Uh, I'm going to ask everybody to roll a survival roll to see how, <clears throat> how that goes. Will we catch a cold? Find out very soon. <laughs> Achoo! Oh no! <laughs> Will we catch a cold? No, yes, no, no. This is to build the shelter so that everyone doesn't catch a cold. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Yeah. This is because this is because Pip chose to stay in the tree. <laughs> yeah. Still on top. But your your average uh, is uh, ah is patient. So. Uh, and you've done this already once before, so you you know the drill. Um, you you have uh, this time you're a bit more organized, as you already know kind of like the result you're going for, and uh. And you set up in, in a way that uh, should allow all of you to um, spend uh, the night somewhat somewhat dry. It's still not the best and the people who stay up on watch have to constantly uh, readjust it and pour out water where it does uh, rain in. Um, so, well, it could be better, but it's fine. I will rain catch is doing great though. Oh yeah, yeah, that's doing great. Uh, I will be asking uh, uh, one more time. I'm just gonna ask once for the entire journey. Uh, one, who is going to lead the way? That will be the person who rolls the survival checks to see like how uh, how much. Oh wait, no, no, it can be mostly before. Sorry, there was a more important question I had to ask before. Uh, the road to Vera is not direct. Um, as you've seen when you left Cleon, you actually traveled a little bit southwest uh, instead of uh, northwest where Vera actually is. Uh, and that's because the road goes around the harsher and thicker part of the swamp. So if you wanted, you could save a day or, or two of travel uh, by not following the road. So that's a, that's a question I'm going to ask now and then we'll, we'll go from there. Off road, off road, off road. Are we comfortable trekking through that kind of terrain? It can be hard to find a path. We might not end up not saving the time if we're not, well, very keen with our travel. <clears throat> Are we on a time limit? I suppose not, aside from the food we're carrying. But I guess uh, as long as we're confident in our ability to pathfind, then maybe it is better if we go off-road faster even. Good think term. of all the c cool things we could find. No one here is afraid of getting a little dirty? Nope. Rook shakes his head. Sorry, what were you saying, Tekka? Good can be found on roads less traveled. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've heard a poem somewhat like that. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, adventure, <laughs> huh. let's hope okay. it goes better than last time. If you do a bend the road, then I will need uh, somebody who takes a lead and uh, who will be running the survival checks every day to, uh, to keep uh, on track. So, uh, who are you going to pick? Last, last time it was uh, Talix. Sure, I can do it. Unless anyone else feels very good at it. Uh, I believe it. Like to, yeah. I'd like to see the uh, the expertise of a phantom. Hmm. <clears throat> we'll see about that. Okay. Next, I will be asking about your travel pace. 
uh, whether you'd like to proceed at a fast, normal, or slow pace. Well, I guess normal, unless Tekka needs to sleep. <laughs> I think slow. We don't know what we're walking into. Slow okay. just while we're in the swamp? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good. All right. And Maybe once we get to the road, we pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah you can always change your pace. And last time, I would like to ask for the uh, your turn order for when you'll be keeping watch during the night. And a perception check now that will apply to all of your nights. Uh, all Talix... of our nights? So yeah. much better. Talix would like to take first watch. He's, He's already used to staying up late now. Might <laughs> as well. Uh, take a take, take second. Alex, Tekka. <clears throat> All right, I'll take the third then. Okay, Brook and then Squeak will Pontifex. take fourth. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, and Pontifex always takes last watch anyway. Like yeah. City mm -hmm. likes to wake up early. So. All right, so we need to make a perception check, right? Alright. Let's go! Oh! oh. oh. Huh. Oh! <laughs> nice! Early night goes great! Late night? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Alex, 20. Pekka, 21. Pontifex slash is a uh, squeak. The squeak actually want to keep a watch. Yeah, that squeaks. Okay. All right. I think that's. All the preparations. So we do not need to take rations this night because we had the fish, right? Indeed. All right. And aside from the one that I gave to uh, Pontifex. Mm -hmm. Is right. there anything you want to do before sleep? Or during the night? Um... Hmm... I think Talix is just gonna relax and maybe uh, maybe he'll read a bit during the during his watch. That's about it. Uh, I think Tekka would have something uh, as well. All right. Uh, oh, also, before we do that, um, yes, I can, uh, I can fill everyone's canteens. Let's, let's make sure if we need to do that, we can do that too. It's a good idea. Good. All right. Good reminder. So yeah, I do, that. I do that as well. Okay. We also that's got it. Tekka's rainwater catcher. That's thing. true. That's true. Yeah. And if that's enough for everything, for everyone's canteens, then disregard them. I don't think it's enough for everything. Uh, it's two... Oh god, I don't... Eight gallons. I don't know how that's much that lot. is. Yeah, it's a that, lot. That's, yeah, that's... Uh, like Water skin holds, holds one gallon, I think? Maybe, wait. Right. Not even. That's, a gallon would be even quite a bit, but that sounds yeah. about right. Water skin's like half a gallon. Okay, yeah, I think we're good then. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Four Talix. points is half a gallon. Yeah. <laughs> good to know. Um, Talix, 
Mm. I oh. remember that you are worried about funds. Huh. And as I and Brooke were looking for options, I could tell that that is going to continue to be a hurdle for us going forward. Well. I don't know if this will assist you, but I heard a story around a fire one night. And maybe maybe your dreams could give you an answer. Will you sleep on what I say? Well, sure, but uh, I'm not usually one to dream. I've had exactly one dream. But I'll try. Don't underestimate your ability. Okay. okay. A woman twice my age once told me not a poem nor a song, a story nonetheless. Beyond belief, their word will be, yet their coin speak truth with glee. As stone leaped from aeons above, burnt all muck which you won't love. Uh, Apparently, it is a story of wanton fortune, but I have not understood it more yet. But something to consider as we go. Thanks. <laughs> um. I'm not sure I I really that uh, doesn't give us a lot of direction, does it? No. Fortunately stories are meant to be interpreted. But well, if we put our minds together, perhaps we can find an answer. All right, uh, well, let me run that by me one more time and I'll write it down. No, you know, I actually have to yeah. go over it, but... I am putting it in the server. All right, so maybe we'll, uh, here's some clues. I've heard of, you know, I've heard people say there are riches to be found somewhere out, you know, beyond, beyond the peninsula, but, uh, uh, I'm leery of people who speak of such things. Anyways, I'm not looking to get rich. <laughs> it's not never what I needed. Um, but if it passes our hurdles, then it is to our help. Well, we gotta just gotta be careful not get not to get too tempted by that sort of thing. Let's just. Earn what we need, you know, to survive out here and complete what we need to do. But we don't need more than that, and we gotta come by it honestly. I'm certainly not gonna resort to Robin Graves, for instance, right? Right. Well, I have robbed you of your sleep enough <laughs> lots no worries I appreciate good stories uh but 
yeah, I'm gonna sleep for now and uh, see you in the morning. And thank you, Tekka, for sharing. Thank you for listening. And uh, during uh, Tekka's watch, he'll just walk around and let um, yeah, let Ollie get his food for the night. Probably lots of bugs out and about in the rain. Yeah, the thing is, the uh, pangolins can only eat very specific kinds of bugs, so... Oh, ants. It depends. Yeah. And stuff. What kind of specific bugs? Um, so from what I read, they mostly eat ants, uh, but in some cases they can eat termites. Uh, and they usually go digging like underground and under roots and that kind of thing. Mm. Okay. Well, Oli is not going to struggle with food today. Um, yeah, he lunges around. He's going to be very active during the night. Um, <laughs> Tekka, well, Tekka is away. He keeps an eye on him. Uh, but Oli never strays too far from the camp. For uh, your first night out of Kaleon, uh, we'll pass by without uh, any complications. And you're ready to start your journey. Any particular preparations I need to be made aware of? No, don't think so. Okay. Jungle music. <laughs> <laughs> Um, where did I go? There we go. Oh, so cool. <laughs> so, uh, the following day, the group sets off towards Vera, hoping to uh, leave behind the, the rainy weather that's been uh, following you for a few days. Um, you I have. Yes. Insect repellents. Oh, okay. If it's, if it's useful. Mm -hmm. Would it be useful? Not for today. Um, okay. Today, even as you leave behind the road and you begin to head more towards the marshy area in an attempt to, to uh, save time and see new sites, you're not going to get into the thickest uh, kind of swamp that you were in earlier, further to the east. Uh, instead... In the early morning, you are going to pass by some cattle. And these are animals that uh, you have heard about a couple days ago back in Cleon when Talix and Pip were looking for cheese. Um, they are, uh, they're just called the marsh cows and they're a breed of plural cows that have very tall legs that make it easier for them to kind of step through the, uh, the muddy terrain uh, of the area. Uh, that is the only thing of note that happens today, as the sun eventually begins to set, you all uh, set up camp in the first place where the ground isn't as wet as the surrounding. Uh, your first day of travel was, uh, for the most part, uneventful, which is overall good news, and the thicker canopy of the trees has kept you mostly dry so far. You milk uh, them, you get marshmallow cream. I think, I think like, as we pass them, Pip would say to the others hey you you guys wanted to get horses or something to ride on right oh uh well <laughs> one these don't look like the fastest animals ever and uh these might belong to someone <laughs> yeah, <normal. clears throat> I, I might be... did not expect that at all <laughs> can we keep one Oh, these probably... I mean... We're in the middle of a swamp. Whose cows would they be? Oh, it's probably an open range. It's uh, a can, swamp! Would we, we be able to tell? Like, do people brand their cattle? 
They have uh, colors with bells on them. Oh shoot! <laughs> I I would have seen that. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yeah, you probably you probably heard them before you saw them. In fact, I'm not advocating <laughs> for stealing someone's cows. Hmm. But Pip, could you ask them for directions? Oh yeah, sure. I want to speak up. The bells tend to make them deaf. <laughs> oh. It's in Azurdor in practice. It's pretty controversial. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Where are we going? Do you have any idea? You ask them, where are we going? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so the rest of the group is going to witness as Pip begins to make mooing noises and the, the cows moo back. Um, Pip, unfortunately, the, the cows do not seem to know. They don't know. They don't know what exactly? They don't know where we're going. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> so how could they give us directions? Do they know where is safe? <laughs> Do you know where is safe? Uh, the cows reply here. It's safe here, guys. Yeah, uh... <laughs> You know, maybe ask uh, which way they go to uh, head back home. Hmm. I do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, and the group of cows that you're talking to, they all turn around, so they're all facing the same direction, and it's pretty much the direction you came from. That okay. way. Yeah. They... Okay. Well, that's great. We got it. Uh, Brooke, you're, you seem to be all right with Pathfinder. I'll just follow you. Pearl, let's go forward. <laughs> if I see a wild one, though, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Are okay. you sure that you can... Mm. You oh, do. Let him, let him dream. <laughs> <laughs> do I roll? Four? I don't know. Going forward? Uh, you will tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today the, the the terrain is still um, like the trees are not that dense and uh, keeping the sense of directions is going to still be pretty easy it will okay. be from tomorrow on that I'll need a survival roll from you uh, in fact if, if, we're, if we're done with the cows we can do that yep I'll take your survival check Brooke uh, anything that you guys are gonna do tonight <sighs> Uh, we just all need to eat a ration. Are we ration. not foraging? Yeah, it's oh, like yeah, we can try to forage. For... Yeah, we can try to do that for sure. You are proceeding, uh, uh, you are traveling slowly. Uh, yeah. Which gives you plenty of time to look around and plenty of opportunities uh, to, to spot things and uh, uh, pick up food as you go. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Pip, the cows recommend that you try out these uh, these plants that they're eating. Uh, this kind of like fern that grows over the surface of the water. Um, <laughs> they tell you that it's the best. Okay, I will try it. It's is it just grass? <laughs> it just tastes like grass. A, yeah, pretty much. And Pontifex had asked about it, and they said that they sometimes use it in culinary things, right? Yeah, probably yeah. not raw. When prepared, yeah, I think they mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> could you, maybe we can try to use it to season some fish or something. Use it to season? They need to season this! <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, sometimes they can... Uh, yeah, okay. It doesn't look too good, to be honest. I will collect a few. Just the you can very easily just grab like handful and handfuls of this 
He like grabs some and he like pulls uh, all the adjacent little leaves uh, uh, with it, and it comes to a point where you have to start like ripping them off. Uh, it's like this thick web over the surface of the water. Uh, they are covered in uh, uh, like in, in, there's dirt on them, there's mud. Uh, but la later this evening, as you uh, uh, you clean it and you figure out that you can sort of like use it to smoke things inside of it and it's okay or if you have any uh, any spices on you you can basically sort of use it as the main component of a salad uh, but I'm not even going to ask for a roll here for the foraging because for, for the day it's going to be uh you're going to be actually no I do need a roll <laughs> I do need a roll uh, I forgot All about right. this yes yes I do need a roll from everyone uh, whoever is going. Uh, so far, you always done this in groups of two. Tekka is definitely going. Uh, I can help. No one else? Okay. I can brew. I can be right. either of you with advantage or just you both do a roll. How do you feel? You can take it this time. All right, here we go. Uh, is it survival? Yes. You got this to go. Get us food. Take a no. Okay, well, I have to take it back. Um, so you did pick up a lot of this, a lot of this uh, water fern, but uh, overall, you couldn't really manage to find a way to make it uh, uh, pleasant to eat. Um, so what you end up doing is to you you kind of do fall back on your own uh, uh, on your own rations. Oh no! <laughs> One from each. Yeah. Uh, do, does Bonifex have his own rations at this point, or do I need to? Uh, well, I just accidentally closed the tab. So hold on, give me a second. I don't recall him saying that he was. Uh, Buying rations, the yeah, I don't uh, think you could buy anything for this, but I well, gave him gold. might be out of money. If I remember, well, I he could have afforded gold. a few, yeah, he does have for, for gold on him. Um, Jason, if you could use up your own rations for now, and we can All perhaps right. kind of adjust at a later time when we actually have Matt, sure. I'd like to do a quick yeah, jump Maybe cut. next time uh, we don't take advice from cows on what to eat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not, uh, not playing with you, Pip. Sorry. <laughs> no, they would tell you anything but themselves. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to make it dark, but... <laughs> anyway, what were you saying, Tekka? <laughs> And this is out of the scene, so if oh. you had more, I keep Tag going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it for me. I just wanted to make the remark. That's all. Um, yeah, I just wanted a quick jump cut to like the campfire at night, and you just smell like this burnt fur <laughs> <laughs> from Pega's basket, and it just says, "This food is not for us." For the animals. Wait, did you say that you burned the, fer the fern? Yeah, because he's trying to prepare it, but it just it <laughs> okay. doesn't soften at all until it burns. <laughs> it on, the, on the upside, <laughs> it turns out that when you do, the smoke has this pretty pungent, pretty strong smell that at first, like, at first it's like, oh god, it's getting even worse. Now there's this smell that's like clean to your clothes and it's pretty unpleasant. But it keeps away the mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> well done, Tekka. <laughs> oh, we made an interesting discovery. <laughs> Write it in uh, your book. Yeah, I'm gonna take a sample of this, please. Just a little snip. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> ah, okay. Now, nice. I'm going to need the survival rule from Brooke uh, for oh, the following day for a 
the uh, the direction you're you're taking. DM question: Can oh, yes, I yes. guide him on this? Yes, can you can. Guide him? Um, it's a first time. Yes, you can. I thought I already rolled for that. What else did I roll survival for? Oh no, that was for foraging. Yeah. No, tech I rolled for that. Oh. What? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. With advantage. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's your, right. That's right. That's right. The right. sixteen is the. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's roll a d four. Uh, what is what is what does uh, Talix's guidance look like? Um. Uh, hmm. I. I don't think this would have much of a visual component to it. I think it's just like uh, he'll kind of put his hand on your shoulder, uh, hold the. Uh, Hold the piece of amber up to your head, say some words, and you just kind of feel a sense of calm and maybe even like a familiar feeling from back home, like a like maybe a sense of comfort that you might have forgotten. Come back to, you. and you feel just a little bit more confidence in what you're about to do, a little more at ease. I'm rolling with confidence. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Here comes a 20. Oh, nice. Hey, right. So, uh, on your second day of travel, as Brooke confidently points you, um, <laughs> uh, points you ahead, and you follow him, um, well, today the, the, the warm, heavy air is buzzing with bugs. Uh, the campfire during the night kept them away, but... Uh, uh, during the day, you do find yourselves in need of uh, Talix's comedian to bug repellent uh, as the mosquitoes otherwise begin to bite. <clears throat> Alright, everyone. No fear. That should keep us nice and bite free. There Just comes... be sure to wash it off at the end of the day. What are these side effects? Oh, <laughs> uh, it might get a bit itchy. Hmm. Do we have Maybe any more of those plants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I it's mean, nobody ate it. them, so <laughs> yes. That's for tonight. Do you know what this is made of? Uh... <laughs> well, uh, the Avelsi who traded them with me said they were very natural, so... Or at least that's the impression I got. And I don't actually speak their language. Fine. You have used They're... this and been well? Hmm? You have used this and been well? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just don't leave it on for a full day. What's up, Pip? Fine. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it. Fine. Better than getting eaten. Okay. Get nasty diseases out here. Mm. Mm. Uh, there comes a moment uh, towards the middle of the afternoon. Uh, when you all can hear a beautiful song somewhere between the trees. It sounds like the chirping of a bird, loud and full of a variety of noises that a humanoid cannot replicate. Um, but rather Bad. than a set of disparate, disparate notes, uh, this is very much a proper melody, uh, the kind that only a person could possibly compose. Pip, to your ears, this is a song about shiny things. 
It lists gemstones and metals, describes jewelry and crystal. Uh, it talks about the surface of the sea and the glistening stars. Uh, and in, be in between the verses, there's a chorus about how beautiful and shiny the world is. Oh. I think Pip just like looks up in awe, trying to, to catch a glimpse of the bird, but also looks over at the others and says, that bird, it's singing a beautiful song. Yes. Alex would like to cast Speak with Animals. <laughs> we'll use a spell slot for it to make it fast. Okay. Uh, speak with Animals does mean that you can understand animals, right? Ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration. Okay. So it's uh, um, exactly like I said. You're going to also be able to understand this, uh, this meaning of the song. This is... This must not be an ordinary bird. Uh, do you think maybe... Maybe someone taught it that song? This must be a very intelligent creature. Right? You've never heard anything like this before, have you, Pip? Uh, have I? Probably not. <clears throat> Well, do you want to go look for it? Um, the... I, I would let you roll a nature check. Well, it's not a, okay. uh, it's not a check. Would like... I'll go for it. A nature check. Nature? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm proficient in nature. Which means it's... <laughs> which means it's zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> um, so no. You... I mean, you've heard the singing of birds before, but uh, um, it's generally not this elaborate in the slightest. It does mean something whenever the birds sing. Uh, to you, it always means something, but it's uh, uh, it's almost always a call. Or, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's nothing this elaborate. No, this is, this is not anything that I've ever heard before. Oh, you gotta try to follow it. This is... Well, oh, this is... I would be careful with following it, but we can... We just have to make sure that we know the way back. Oh. This does indeed lead you a little astray from compared to uh, the direction you're going, Brooke. Um... I mean, if you guys want to look for it, we can uh, take some time. Yeah. But don't just run ahead. Well, if you stay here, I can actually... Get a message back to you if anything goes wrong. Uh, uh I've got I've got a way. Uh, look for a uh, flower petal from this flower, and I'll take out the rose that I collected earlier. It'll make sense if it needs to. Uh, <laughs> Why don't you go too sneak far? Up? Sneak on the bird. I mean, I don't want to scare it or anything. Oh, well, uh, yeah, so we'll try to quietly approach them. You and me? Maybe we can try to speak to it, too. Okay, so what's the plan? We're gonna try and sneak up closer so that we don't scare it. Okay, what about the flower? Just, like, sort of following the sound. I, I just showed him the, uh, the flower that I collected with Tekka earlier and said that said to look out for a petal. That's all I said. I didn't elaborate any further. So that means it's only Talix and Pip that are approaching? I didn't... I guess we didn't really ask Tekka. Tekka stays behind. Alright. Tekka and Brook and Pontifex are staying behind. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll ask the two of you to roll stealth. And <laughs> okay, with your <clears throat> with your curiosity picked, uh, the two of you follow the song until you spot some movement uh, between the trees. Uh, you can see uh, ahead of you a small pond in the middle of a clearing, and next to it is a giant bird. 
even bigger than the red beaks you've encountered before, uh, with a, a horse-sized body. It has black and white <gasps> feathers with vivid blue wings and tail. Uh, curiously, the bird is wearing a large backpack that seems custom-made <laughs> to fit around its body, with multiple straps and pouches tied around the torso and the base of its wings. Um, this bird is uh, definitely the, so the source of the singing. Uh, you see it just uh, hanging around near the pond, uh, uh, sitting down and resting and singing. It's beautiful. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna like look at Pip and try to kind of get get like a visual confirmation, like I'm going for it kind of thing. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll give him a nod. Oh, uh, pardon me, friend. I say in bird. <laughs> As the bird uh, turns its head and stops tripping, and this is something that the rest of the party would also hear, uh, the song just ending. Um, the bird jumps up to its feet, and uh, uh, instead of moving away from you, uh, it seems excited to see you. And uh, you understand it to, uh, that the bird says, Hello! 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 And comes closer, hopping on the ground. Oh, oh hi! You sing so beautifully. Thank you, thank you. Um, trade? 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 What? Uh, well, what? Uh, you, tr you trade with people. Um, do you... We didn't want to encroach or anything. Uh, do you mind if we bring our friends over here with us? Trade? Trade with friends. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, I will pluck a petal from that flower, and with my pen just write very tiny uh, in Flernan, uh the word come, and hold out my hand, and it just gets whisked away in the wind. What? As far as, uh, as, far as Pip can tell. Uh, the oh, and... message! That's so cool. <laughs> sort of, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah. The bird, uh, and uh... eventually it will make its way to Brooke. Yeah. Uh, huh? the, the bird begins to to unpack. It begins to. Uh, it, it seems that a backpack that uh, that it has around its body is set up in a way that it can very easily, with the use of its talons and its beak, actually remove it uh, from its body and begins what? to uh, place down the backpack and begins to pull items out of it. While um, the rest of the group eventually, uh, and Brooke being on the lookout for this, uh, uh, Brooke, well, all of you, uh, being on the lookout for this, uh, you eventually see a petal uh, of the flower that uh, Alex had before, uh, just fluttering in the air and uh, reaching your group, uh, and then he just uh, sort of like hovers in midair. Oh, that's what he meant. <coughs> and once well, one of you grabs it, you're uh, you're able to read the message. Oh, I grab it. Huh, that's what he meant. <laughs> 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 well, Tekka, if you want, they told us to come. Then we go. Let's remember our path back. All right. Uh, in front uh -huh. of Pip and Talix's eyes, this uh, giant magpie uh, pulls out a variety of items from her backpack. Um, they're all different, but they all share one quality. They are, um, in one word, they are eye-catching. Uh, by the time the rest of the group catches up and sees the giant bird uh, pulling out his assortment of items from the backpack. Uh, you are presented with a flashy set of robes, a miniature castle, a vial of golden liquid, a snow globe, oh. and a colorful <laughs> metal sphere. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Can you run those by me again? I'm going to try and write them down. Unless you already have them written down. Tiny Fleshy castle. Ropes. Miniature Bile. castle. Vial of golden liquid. A snow globe. And a colorful metal sphere. Wow. And as you begin to uh, peruse the, the merchandise, the bird introduces herself as Glimmer. Glimmer? <laughs> I would die for her. <laughs> Are you a princess by any chance? <laughs> you, thank you. Yeah. Um, Not yet. <laughs> Glimmer, this giant magpie. Such wonderful birds. Oh, I need. To... Oh, everyone, just keep her distracted for a while. I need to <laughs> sketch. <laughs> and all your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you? What do you like to trade with? Um... Alex is making circles around her sketching. <laughs> Shiny things. Oh, I don't or, know. Or, yeah, you don't, but uh, Pepper and Talix can. Uh, a she likes shiny things. She wants to trade shiny things. Shiny things or very beautiful things. Or oh. both. Ah. <gasps> She is a bird after my own heart. Trade? 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 <laughs> Let me... <Ops>. Hold on! <laughs> Let me look! <laughs> look Hip starts look, look. frantically rummaging in his backpack. <laughs> uh, so Talix <laughs> is catching her out. Pippa is looking for something. Um, what are Tekka and Brooke doing? Well, we uh, don't understand what the bird is saying, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, well, right. We will translate for you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us. Try to. Oh. Ask her if if coins are shiny enough for her, and I hold up some silver, or copper, or gold. Um, are those shiny enough for you? Hmm. Shiny, shiny, but not special. They're not so, special. That so wasn't part of the request. <laughs> <laughs> she only said shiny and beautiful. A, a glimmer like uh, uh, puffs out her wings. <laughs> well, I'm out of options. <laughs> uh, I have something maybe you might be interested in. I'll take out a little pocket-sized mirror. And hold it in front of her so she sees herself. Okay. Glimmer uh, begins to hop in place and says, Yes, 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 yes. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, uh, well, what'd you be willing to trade for? Just one of these? Mm, you like? Uh, you know, Professor, this, uh, this colorful metal orb it looks like something you might be interested in. Perhaps? Um, okay. This is a sphere made of differently colored layers of material, with a hook at the top. Um, as you pointed out, Glimmer grabs the sphere by the hook, and the item dangles from her beak, uh, and you're free to examine it. From top to bottom, the colored layers are white, green, white, red, white, green, and white again. Uh, on one side, there is an empty impression shaped like the bottom half of a small diamond. Huh. Honestly, I have no idea what this could be used for, but... Uh... I don't know, you think, you think Pontifex would have an interest in it? Or does it not look like that kind of thing? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, that's the tricky part. 
does it look like a Christmas ornament? Am I? I mean, of yeah, it right? it yeah, it does. Hmm. Uh. What? So it's just like a metal ball that's missing a gem. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you, what do the rest of you think? Uh. I'll All wait if the others have anything to say. I don't understand what you are trying to achieve. Well, we can... I don't know, she's offering us one of these items in exchange for this. Thought maybe we might be able to find something interesting to one of us. Plus, well, this is just a great experience. <laughs> it's your mirror. Yeah. But tell me more about the tiny castle. <clears throat> uh, okay. As you redirect your attention to something else, uh, um, uh, here it is. Dude, this one. This is the one item that best catches and reflects the light of the sun. Uh, a miniature castle appears to be made out of uh, some kind of clear crystal. Uh, in fact, it almost hurts to look at it until Glimmer turns around and moves a little bit so that she happens to position herself in a way that blocks the light and puts the castle in the shade. Uh, it's about as wide as the palm of Brooks's hand. Um, Glimmer with the... Uh. with a sphere still dangling from her beak, she uses her talent to push it closer to you. The, the miniature castle. I mean, this... this is just... a wonderful work of craftsmanship. Uh, any chance? I think I might want this one actually. This castle here, this uh, little crystal. Uh, do you know where you got it? Mm, traded. Here, I'll give her the mirror. Set it in front of her, where the castle used to be. Uh, she will she will grab the mirror with her talons and uh, uh, she places it into her backpack and then she does a little hop in place. <laughs> I'll pick up the castle and look at it. So yeah, I'll may I remember where you found this. Traded. Oh, uh what what do the people look like? Had a mask. Oh, okay. Uh, anyone else have any interest in anything here? I don't uh, think I have anything to offer for trade with, so I'll pass. I need to make a strength check. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pip reaches down in his backpack and you can see him struggling very much to pull something out. <laughs> and pulling out of his backpack is this large uh, metal hunting trap. <laughs> uh, weighing about 25 pounds and uh, he holds it in the air and like uh, sort of tries to hold it up in front of a, a ray of sunshine to see if that might be shiny enough <laughs> uh, <laughs> interesting okay it is made of metal um, hmm. has Pip ever used it? Uh, no I, I imagine that Pip like found this hunting trap set in the woods somewhere and Pip just just like dismantled it and took it with him so that an animal didn't get hurt in it. Mm, okay. He's just been carrying it around ever since. So like he, Pip hasn't used it, but like overall um 
Like it was kind of new when he found it. Uh, so it's still it's still very clean. Um Oh, okay, uh, like I said, there is uh, there is plenty of sun that shines down into this clearing. Uh, so when you hold it up, uh, uh, the metal does does catch the the sunlight uh, beautifully, and um, glimmer. The glimmer's attention has been caught. Um, she watches it and says, mm, "What do you like?" Ah, oh. ah, uh, oh. What do I like? What does Pip like? <laughs> Pip will look down at the things. Uh, what What is inside the snow globe? Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Here it is. One of the items that have emerged from Glimmer's backpack is a snow globe with a beautiful depiction of a house on a hillside. As the bird gently places it down with her talons, snow falls down upon the scene. And as you look, you can see a tiny woman inside, and uh, um, you, you, bring the, you pick up the globe and you bring it up to your face, and you can see that the woman is moving. You watch as she <gasps> calmly waters the potted flowers on the windowsill, despite the entire globe being filled with water in the first place. I want that. Uh, <clears throat> with you holding the snow globe in your hands, uh, Glimmer uses her talents to uh, grab the the hunting trap, and it's uh, really heavy. <laughs> and instead of lifting it up, she just gra like drags it over the ground until it's next to her backpack. She's the size of a horse. She's probably pretty strong. Do you guys do you guys have anything you want to trade? Uh, Pip. The the woman in the snow globe, uh, looks up at you and waves. Ah! <gasps> oh my! I try and wave back. <laughs> you wave back, and then the woman gets back to um taking care of her, of her flowers. Can you hear me? There is... Uh, she doesn't seem to react. I did not travel to trade. I only travel to trade. Oh, did you... did you understand him? Oh, I'm on the assumption that every interaction is being translated? Oh, okay. That if it's sense. not, yeah. then no, she will not uh, answer. All right. Uh, sure, I'll yeah. I'll say that he's not interested. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, she replies oh. like that. Uh, it's been an honor to meet you. Uh, are there many of your kind around here? Mm, no. Uh, can I ask where you come from? Further west, perhaps. That way. No. Oh, uh, may I ask where? <laughs> I'm taking notes. Trade? Trade for the information. Mm. Mm hmm. Uh, Pip, did you have something more? I think I interrupted you. No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Hmm. As you guys are thinking, um, Glimmer grabs the, um, Um, she grabs with her beak uh, a clothes hanger from which the robes are hanging, and she uh, she uh, takes a few steps, uh, hops a little bit closer to Brooke, and sort of like dangles the robes in front of him. 
Trade? She must think they suit you. I don't really have anything she could be interested in. I might have something, Brooke, if you want something. Well... Glimmer uses her talents to, um, tap on your shield. <laughs> oh! Uh... You can tell her that I appreciate the offer, but... I need the things I have, and they're probably better suited for someone else. The robes oh, look a little small for actually. you, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Your robes do look a little small for you, and also mm -hmm. not not exactly your style. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, they they glisten. Uh, like they, they, these robes are pink and blue and red and yellow. Um, they're sequined, and uh, they, they're they're absolutely just eye catching. Uh, Glimmer does a little. She she turns in place. Uh, um, with the, with the clothes hanger still hanging from a beak, uh, uh, sort of like showing them off. She seems uh, particularly fond of this item. <laughs> they are very pretty. Uh, but it's not something we usually wear in our line of work. We would just get it all scuffed up. Maybe, maybe some future person you come across will have more interest in it. Uh, should probably move on, right? With a defeated <laughs> look on her face, Glimmer uh, brings the robes back towards her backpack. I'll bring out my little shovel. <laughs> Any <laughs> chance if I gave you this, you could tell me where you came from? Where your home is? Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> or uh, you can make it animal handling if you'd like. Oh, I would definitely like. <laughs> <laughs> That's a difference of plus five. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> uh, I, could just, I just could not end with one higher than the other. It had to balance out. <laughs> well, you do have inspiration. <gasps> no, wait. no, I don't. No, I, don't. I spent it. Oh, you I'm did? the only one who doesn't have it. Oh my I gosh, it's true! I got it. Do you want mine? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There it is a bird. It's shiny. <laughs> so unfortunately, the shovel has been I mean, used already. Um, it's not as clean as it could be. Mm, yeah. And he doesn't that seem particularly. Sense. Uh. He doesn't seem impressed with it. Oh. Although, the. It doesn't seem to be a. Uh, that simple to actually guess what she might like and what she may not like because she did enjoy the 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 uh the hunting trap perhaps she just has her own way of seeing things uh tekka is going to tap brooke on the shoulder and quietly put something in his hand if there is something you want Ask her about with this. To check to see what it is? Yeah. It is a dart. Mm. And part of it's wooden, part of it is metal. And it doesn't seem to have been used. So the tiny castle and the snow globe is gone, right? Yeah, they have been purchased. So remaining are the robes, the um, the vial of golden liquid. Yeah, how big is the vial? Of, um, like yeah, how big is the vial? Um, so the the vial is uh, moon shaped, and it contains a glowing golden liquid. Uh, due to its shape, uh, it currently lays on its side rather than when, with its uh, stopper facing up. Uh, when uh, Glimmer pulled it out of her backpack earlier and carefully placed it uh, uh, down with, with her talons, you, you could see that the liquid, uh, the glistening liquid uh, doesn't look 
uh, uniform, but like there is uh, uh, thousands of golden specks inside. Thousands of gold. Are you sure about this, Tekka? If there is something you want, then go get it. Hmm. Well, could you tell the bird, or could you show her the start and see if she's interested in that? Hey. Or, uh, Pep, you want to try this one? Try the, the dart? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Pip is going to, uh, get it, grab it from, from Brooke, and then Pip will, uh, walk back over to Glimmer, and he'll cause the dart to sort of hover up in the air towards the, the sunshine, and let it glint in the rays. Mm-hmm. Is this kind of dart for, like, hitting creatures with? Yes. Okay. Uh, that makes it quite large, like half the size of a spear. Um, and the the hip wouldn't it be made of made of metal? Um, is it colorful? No, but I I think it I does. Think, what? I think the brown and silver is a pretty nice color palette. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you can see like the wooden texture in the wooden part. Okay. Uh, and uh, Pip is holding it up with uh, with his, like without his hands. Mm. All right. Pip is free to make either a persuasion or an animal handling check. Oh, you know what I'm going for. Persuasion. Nope. <laughs> Wait, you tell me if Pip is not all about that speaking? <laughs> yeah. uh, Pip, you make sure that you position yourself and you hold the dart uh, uh, in a way that uh, uh, reflects the, as much sunlight as possible. You and even waited a few seconds to make sure that a cloud went by, and when you hold it up, <laughs> uh, uh, glimmer's interest seems to be picked. Trade? What do you want, Brooke? Oh, she's interested? Well, <clears throat> I would be interested in the half moon vial. Half moon shape vial. If she is okay with that. Mm, trade! She will extend yeah, she's okay one of her talents that. to uh, grab the. The uh ah uh, word help. Uh, what what word? Dart. Uh, Thank you. Oh, Nothing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know why I forgot. Uh, yeah, she she grabs the dart uh, in her talons and uh, um goes towards her backpack and it uh, uh she stuffs it in there so that the tip uh, is facing up, like out towards the cover of it. And she lets Brooke uh, uh, take the vial. Right. I would like to store it carefully. Mm -hmm. Then are we done? I think so. Unless, unless you have any rocks. Rocks? Not shiny. Excuse me? <laughs> Rocks? Not shiny. And she, like, I, drags her talons across the ground. I take out two very good examples of shiny <laughs> rocks. <laughs> uh, rocks can be shiny. 
You just haven't seen the right kinds. Trade? No. Trade. <laughs> Sorry. Trade? I no. Shiny. Trade. Trade. No. Trade. I'm. <laughs> Bird, stop. <laughs> 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 Remember, Tech Guys. has no idea what's being said right now. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it all Tekka, it's okay. She's... Tekka only saw She's this just enormous excited. bird like getting closer and closer to Pip and chirping louder and louder while Pip was like holding his stones to his chest and backing away. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, the tone of Tekka is sufficient to make a Glimmer uh, stop <laughs> <laughs> bothering Pip, even if she didn't understand what he actually said. Uh, um, hey, I'll, I'll tell you what, Glimmer, um, if we ever see you again and you have shiny rocks, then I'll absolutely trade with you. Mm, okay. Well, we're heading west, uh, towards where the sun sets, so mm -hmm. you want to find us again? Maybe we'll meet someday. Mm, I find you again. Okay. Someday? Yeah. Okay. I always trade. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, Glimmer begins to pack up to put her things, uh, both the items that uh, uh, she still has and ones she had given her, uh, back into her backpack. And then, um, yeah, you watch as this bird just uh, uh, easily uh, gets the, the backpack back on her and ties all the straps. And uh, uh, she looks, she looks happy. She looks content. I what love a her. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did she drop we... any feathers? <laughs> yes, uh, there are a few feathers uh, on the ground. I'm collecting one. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can do that. And uh, we might, we might uh, uh, do a slight bit of retconning next time in case it turns out that a Pontifex wanted to, buy, to trade something. Yeah, that's um, fair. Mm -hmm. So yeah. They, there, there's that possibility, uh, but otherwise, uh, Glimmer is just going to say goodbye, and um, thanks! And then she flaps her enormous wings, uh, the, the wind that, uh, that gets pushed uh, just from the, side of, uh, the size of her wings is uh, uh, impressive, and she takes off. People said that you should be afraid of the big birds, but... She was amazing. Yeah, I've never seen one like her. Beautiful huh? place. <clears throat> well, sorry for getting us off track, but I think we can agree that experience was worthwhile. I agree. Thanks again, Tekka. Beware that bird. She only gives because she wants. Well, but she only takes because she gives. <laughs> hmm. Matter of perspective. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Tekka has some sort of deep-seated... <laughs> something towards birds <laughs> <laughs> remember when we were at the grave and Tekka was like I will look for birds <laughs> <laughs> and then he did he then, he then he tried to choke one out remember that wait huh <laughs> no, not <laughs> that one to sleep <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All good. Okay, uh, I'm going to ask Brooke for another survival check to get back on track. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Who led me astray? I will guide him. Yeah, can Tech also guide? Oh. Can we? Wait. I don't know. It's Do you... a question. Wait, you have guidance? No. Not that kind of, guy. Not that guy of, of guidance. <laughs> it's called advice. <laughs> 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 God damn it. I'll no, take it, Gaiden. <laughs> well, I'm so... going to cast Guidance. I don't know what Tech is doing. <laughs> uh, is Tech a proficient in survival? Huh? Is Tech a proficient in survival? No. Okay. Pekka can roll his own roll, and I'll take whichever one between the two of you roll highest. All right. Whether well, the guidance is only going to be on Brew. Can I at least say what the advice was going to be, or does the roll? Wait. Oh. Uh, did you roll with advantage, Brew? No, but I rolled a d4 for the guidance. Oh, that's what d3 is. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I was uh, looking at them in I the would... opposite order, so I just thought they were both d20s. I get it. <laughs> I would love the advice. <laughs> uh, I think it... Oh. Okay. Didn't matter. <laughs> Wait, I want the advice. Uh, Brooke. <laughs> Tekka's advice is one of those advices that you're not really sure what it means. <sighs> but you, um, you find I your own meaning. Something to Didn't you have your own thing to say? Oh, please! Yeah, but yes, I'm, yes. Trying to, I'm trying to spit it in a way that Brooke would not understand. Um, <laughs> oh, I can pretend it. to not understand. <laughs> Don't get lost. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Bad things happen to those who are lost. Trees age faster in the darkness. <laughs> I know what he means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> I've posted that gift twice today in the Discord channel. But Brooke nuts <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pekka. <laughs> You see, uh, All right, let's go back on the road. It's at a manly, smiling nod. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this has a name, this chief. Um, Robert Redford. I guess is the name. <laughs> um. All right, well, anyway. Uh, Brooke, you... <laughs> oh, brilliant, Sid. Brilliant. <laughs> it's OG guidance back before magic existed. <laughs> but hey, I played all the rest in the helps. I guess guidance 2.0 really is the real deal. So. It's a new thing. <laughs> Uh, Brooke, as you ponder on the meaning of uh, Tekka's words, uh, you do find a way back to the same spot where uh, you first heard Glimmer singing. <clears throat> and then you uh, resume your, your track across the, the swamp until eventually uh, you set up camp. Uh, for now, the, the rain has uh, not bothered you for, for today. And it seems like the night uh, for the night also the sky is clear and full of stars. During the night, uh, is there something you want to do in the evening? I I think the only thing Pip would like to do is just sit down and just stare at the snow globe for a long time. Uh, should okay. we make another check to see if we can forage for food? Yes, thank you. Um. Talix would like to take part this time. Not pleased with 
<laughs> last night's yield. Uh, and uh, yeah. yeah, I think Tech is dejected from the fern experiments. I will not be forging. <laughs> All right, then I'll go. Uh, Brooke, since you're coming with me, mm -hmm. do you have any sort of? You don't carry a bow by any chance, do you? Uh, I do not. Why are you asking? Uh, be nice if we could get some meat. Well, and I take out a dagger. If you know how to handle these, they can use kind of as, or they can be used kind of as like a short range bow. I think I can get close enough for that to work. Oh, that depends on you. Whatever you do, don't oh, take I, it I can with do you. it. What's that? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't take Pip with you, is what we learned today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I've got my own knife. Uh, All right. Do you want to make it a competition? Sure. All right. Well, let's see what she can do. <laughs> so Alex will give you a big grin. And then uh, darts off into the woods. <laughs> oh. Well. You didn't say what we were looking for. <laughs> Meat. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, true. You did say that. Okay. I Both don't, of you... This seems like very, diffi very <laughs> difficult to make work, but let's see how godlike we are. They inadvertently start hunting each other. We're going to... Hunt game with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because so, we're badass ninjas now, apparently. But if that is the plan, is that a plan? That is a plan. So it's... Okay, both of you roll a survival check at disadvantage. Yes. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was on a higher number. The other one bumped it. Oh. <laughs> they were both 19s and then one bumped the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, with this advantage, it's still 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Brooke is a highly inefficient method of, uh, um, of hunting for meat. And uh, Talix. Uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> the same applies to you, but you do. Um, well, you don't end up stabbing any animal, uh, you do end up using a knife to collect uh, a lot of uh, plant food instead. Uh, so you don't return empty-handed, although you didn't quite uh, achieve the, the feat you had originally set off to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep, I come back with a bunch of mushrooms. I came okay, back well. with nothing. Same. Okay. <laughs> but I got something. Oh, uh, we can cook these and they'll be all right. Yep. Uh, we still got some sausage, right? Yeah, we got some rations. We just, right. we just started traveling. So for today, uh, Talix is able to, uh, Talix's findings uh, make up two rations out of the five that you would have con to consume today. So you'll only have to spend three. All right. I'm only well, giving one to the professor then. Or sorry, only spending one instead same, of two. I'm spending one. Hip will spend one. Okay. Alright, so Tekka can bypass then. Uh, while Talix and Brooke are away, uh, Pip, you're staring at a snow globe and um, you see the woman going through a, through a, a, a realistic routine as uh, there is a little bit of smoke that comes out from the chimney of the house. And uh, uh, if you if you orient the snow globe just right, you can see through one of the windows as she's sitting down at a table and eating. And you really have to like bring it all the way up in front of your eye to be able to, to see because it's it, she is so small. Uh, but you can tell generally what she's doing. You see that she eats at her table and then later uh, retires for the night uh, into her bedroom. Um, before she does, she does wave at you. 
I, I wave back. And then she goes to sleep. Pitbull just hold it close to his chest protectingly. Hmm. Anything else I should uh, know about uh, um, for tonight that you're doing tonight? Uh, Talix during his watch will sketch his castle and look at it a little bit as well. Okay. Just... It's my watch after Tekos, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do something, Tekka? Nothing in particular. All right. Then I guess that's a switch. Um, Tekka, before you go to sleep, I did want to thank you one more time for... Well, giving me that dart to be able to trade. You're pretty you perceptive. We're more interested than me. And I don't need one more dart. Did you make those darts yourself? Mm, no. It is hmm. from my home, but I did not make it. Hmm. Are you curious if what to see if whatever is in this vial is magic? Do you have a way to see? Yeah. And I'll do the same thing I have done before. Do the fear of magic. I think it's detect magic. <laughs> uh, yeah, it yeah. should be. Yeah, it is detect magic. Okay. Uh, Brooke, you are able uh, to find out uh, that uh, the contents of the vial are indeed magical, of the um, Evocation School of Magic. Uh, detect magic acts in a, in a radius, yeah? Yep. I think it's uh, like 30 feet from you. Uh, so you'd Let also be able check. to tell that... Uh... Yes, 30 feet. Okay. So you'd also be able to tell that the castle that Talix was catching out, the miniature one, uh, is not magical, but the snow globe is. Huh. And the and snow anything globe... Anything around us? Uh, oh. Uh, ah, okay, hold on. So, the snow globe has transmutation magic on it, and then mm. Um, mm. You, you felt something else in terms of magic, and... Um, this is during, uh, like, at the end of Tekka's watch and it's out of yours, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, you sense magic beneath your feet. Huh. Um, and it doesn't feel like it's directly on the ground that you're standing on, but it's, like, a little bit deeper. And then um, mm -hmm. you feel this, this uh, sensation of magic uh, moving and coming closer. And then the dirt shakes a little bit beneath you, and uh, these uh, large roots uh, uh, begin to claw their way out of the dirt, uh, and uh, they 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 are they emerge into this entire area around the campsite like like snakes, like worms coming out of the ground uh, after after a stormy day. And uh, next time we're gonna start by rolling initiative. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Swap is alive. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. been a while since we've had a combat. I had rolled for it to happen on Tekka's turn, uh, and then uh, then it started talking. And it was like, oh, but I was like, wait, they're like, it's right on there. Yeah, it's the, good their, timing. Their, yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, that works. <laughs> Tekka does oh. have the, um... Tekka did roll high enough to perceive it. So even if... I flavored it as, as Brooke noticing it, but it kind of worked out like that. Uh, it did not surprise So they're you. both going to be awake? Yep. Alright. Hype! <laughs> nice! <laughs> I, uh... I would die for Glimmer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Guess whose ah. character got a little castle item to carry around and look at all campaign? That won't yeah. actually do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna hide this for a moment. Where is it? I'm gonna hide the ATS capture. Okay. I actually have a rumor for Glimmer. Uh, so I might as well oh. hand it to you so you will not draw it uh, uh, in the future. Um, nope. Glimmer. Nope. Glimmer's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tekka was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was so what? good. Yeah, I mean, what else should you do? <laughs> Big bird. <laughs> Just try to grab Pip's rocks. I can't and do that. Bring it back. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's the, there's the rumor card. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Very Somebody cool. can hold on to it? Uh, I should go to Pip. <laughs> yep. We're gonna end the session chest. here. My and rumor chest. <laughs> next time we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what's going on here. We're gonna continue on the journey towards Vera. We're gonna fight some plants. <laughs> nice. I hope you had Roots. fun. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I will see you. Uh, oh, um, what does next Sunday look like for you, Jason? We'll see. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so with uh, Jason's new job, the um, his schedule might become very varied, and like we probably we'll probably play every week, but like on a constantly shifting day. So um, yeah, for for anyone who's following on Twitch, that will be uh, that will be very variable. But yeah, for now I'm going to let you go. Well, uh, thank you for early. being here with me. Thank you for playing. And I'm excited to have Matt back with us soon. He's been super sick lately. Yeah. Um, I hope he gets better very soon. Get well soon, Matt. Yeah, get well soon. Well, see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.